troops, it's 2023. Now is the time to get that diet sorted out. A lot of people starting the gym in January, try to get fit. It's no use unless you're eating well. You need to be in a, a, in a calorie deficit, as they say. Or and if you're trying to put that weight on. Oh, you need your protein. You, you need, need to get right up getting the high protein meals. Mm-hmm. And there's only one place to get meal prep from this year. Um, Molly is up to her game this year. She Molly's has. meal prep. She's up the game. Now, Molly's managed to move herself. She started this in her own house. And she's managed to move into an actual like kitchen. Do you know where it is? The Milton Muscle House. Is it in the Milton Muscle House? It is, mate. She's cooking, a sto- she's cooking a storm up in the Milton Muscle House, baby. Um, you can't ask for much more than that. She's got a new menu for January. Now, I'm going to read you some of the meals. And I, I, want, you, I want you to listen to me. If you, if you have, a, have a meal prep service in Glasgow or like South Lanarkshire or whatever that has a better menu than this... You're a liar. You're a liar, and I'll give you a grand cash. Aye. He's I, got it. I've got it to... <laughs> I've got it to flaunt, so it will be nothing to me, but at the same time, I will give you a grand cash. You can um, show me a better menu than this. Let's go through the meals. So, for January, we've now got the Nando's chicken, spicy rice, peas, and halloumi. Is that not just the best collection of words you've ever heard, bro? Mm. It's up there. It's right up there. It's definitely in the top 20 collections Aye, of when words. When it comes to food, they are some good words. Bro. Aye, good words to put together. Creamy tomato chicken pen pasta, which I just had, and it was oh, delightful. Looked excellent. Chicken and chorizo jambalaya, which I had today for my lunch. Molly herself said this is the best thing I've ever made. I'm so excited for that, mate. She was right. Aye. She was Banging. right, mate. Banging, mate. Sweet chilli prawns. We've got the favourite, the Chinese-style chicken curry with rice. And then we've got the veg Chinese style curry and then creamy tomato pen. So they are two vegetarian options. And she's also got high protein meals. If you are a skinny malinky long legs, now that is a de- very disrespectful term. We ah, do not promote calling anybody a skinny malinky long legs. Because but skinny malinkies throughout the years have been oppressed by us, the normal people. Do you know what I mean? No normal, can I say that? Aye. So if you're looking to put that weight on, if you're looking to bulk up, she's got high protein meals, which are just the same versions. Uh, sorry, they're the same meals, but just way more in it for to up that protein. She's also got a breakfast menu. She's got the Biscoff overnight oats, the Nutella overnight oats, ham and cheese muffins, and a healthy fry up. And listen, with Riley's gaff, if you're wanting to order with Molly, all you need to do is message her on Instagram, put your order in, and say. And by the way, I, I seen you on Riley's gaff. That's all you need to say. And she's going to fling in two free breakfast items. Oh. So, troops, get involved. Now is the time to look after yourself. It's 2023. Wising up, boy. Let's get it. Change, but you know for the most part nothing ain't different Sometimes be stuck in my ways weekend Fucked up in somebody's kitchen Stick in my hand, I'm chillin' with the troops And my few cans do so I walk like Winston Trust me, I wake up hanging. You hang that I'm leaving this bed, you're kidding I'm sitting on back in the pad Get deep fried and I smoke some packs of the grass Put my feet up, kick back and relaxing your best No, I'm sticking on Riley's gal Troops, we are back 2023, Jamie. Um, of course, I'm here, Evan Riley, my co-host, Springburn Jamie. Springburn Jamie. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's, it's going to be a big year for us, it's Jamie. It's an exciting time, it bro. It really is, mate. Um, obviously, I've got my sunglasses on. Mm-hmm. Now, Jamie, I did address it to you, and I will tell the people. Um, I have been battling um, with a case of what they call in the biz about a pink eye. Aye. Aye. Uh, so how did this come about? Because I, all, I, all I know is Evans get pink eye. Mm-hmm. Well, Jamie, you know, the urban myth when you're in school and that. Aye. Who farted on your pillow? <laughs> no, has my pillow been farted on? Only the Lord knows. <laughs> Nobody knows, mate, exactly. Well, the Lord knows. The Lord himself. The Lord knows, mate. The Lord <laughs> oh, knows God, everything. Sorry, aye. <laughs> For sake. Um, but it got me thinking, mate, when, I had, when I'm, you know, I'm, I'm encountering this bit of pink eye, it made me think about something else. It was a few weeks ago in work, and I was walking about, and my 
my lips were up. Now that way they get red in the mm-hmm. winter. Aye. Now, and I remember thinking to myself, right? <laughs> oh no, like somebody's got to say to me, you've got gobble, gobble rash, rash. <laughs> right? <laughs> now the classic gobble rash. Mm-hmm. A, a playground classic. Ah, it is. Look at him. He's got gobble rash. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, Jamie, right? No, I've had my fair share of gobbles in my time, have Jamie. You? Oh, <laughs> I, oh, Jamie. Like. But have you, have you never administered a gobble and received a rash? Because oh, of, no, 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 no. But what I'm saying is this. Just how many gobbles would one need to give? To, re- to actually have a rash for and a, a, an abundance of gobbles, bro. Is it a hygiene thing? Is it a... I think it's friction. But do you know what? See, talk about gobble rashes, right? I'm a man that's got very big lips, you have probably noticed. <laughs> I've always had these... Like, see, when I was away in me, I had the same size of lips. Cock-sucking lips? <laughs> <laughs> that's what some people would refer to, right. refer to them as. But I was... Um, so I think because of that, for some reason in my head, I get, like, chapped lips... More than, more than your average guy, mate. So I was right. always like, see, anytime, I was always coming up to winter, see, when it started to get cold, and I'd always get a gobble rash, mate, and it would just be constant. Nah, there's, constant. No, there's no getting away from it, mate. But you're saying, you're saying, you're saying something that's just slightly different from what we used to say. So you're saying he's got gobble rash as if you've contracted a mad disease called gobble rash, but we would say you've got a gobble rash. A rash from game gobbles, you know what I mean? Mm, tomato, tomato, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but it just sounded, it just sounded slightly. It's just a slight cultural difference. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. Um, so he's a couple of miles in Glasgow. Does I, I, it's, uh, it seems like a short distance, but it's a very long way to travel, bro. <laughs> but I mean, I, I always thought about it. I was like, gobble rash. How I've never even how did that come about? Because I've never seen one person that actually has a rash for the gobbles. Aye. I don't know. I, I always thought about it as just like when I was a wee guy. Anyway, I thought like if you gave a gobble, you got that rash. Aye, mate. That's, like, what that's what I thought. Happened. And it was like a mad indic. It's like a love bite almost. Aye, aye. Like like there's na- like you. That's how we know that you've gave a gobble. Aye. You've no got that rash. You, you just reminded me there mm. when I was heavy young playing. I was playing football and I had a fucking love bite in my neck, and I fucking get made to go and buy Under Armour to cover it up. Fuck but it. I was like 13 or something. Who made you do that? Like my, the, the coach. What a virgin. <laughs> you know, it's embarrassing, isn't it? He was jealous, bro. You sent me one of your little plates, man. <laughs> just, <Come> on, <laughs> it's just like my Mary had when she left me. <laughs> Get that cover. I knew it wasn't a bruise. Mate, see, see you're saying adults forcing you to do things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no. Mate, I remember I worked at McDonald's and, I, and there's a policy at McDonald's, right? I was very, I, that was like my first job. Right. And there's a policy at McDonald's where you can't have a beard or like like you can't have <laughs> you can have a beard but you need a mad net, hair net at it right no way but mate. like you can't have stubble at you all? can't have like a bit of stubble who do you think they are exactly I mean, you're fucking McDonald's shut up but I went in right young man and I Jamie I was going through a bit of heartbreak this day as oh. well I was having trouble with my my girlfriend at the time oh. I remember I remember I kept going into the toilet and listening to um, the, so- the song um, <laughs> what was it? you know the do you guys know the song um, Somewhere Only We Know by Keen ah Keane. by Keen it's like classic this bro this could be the end of it <laughs> <laughs> so I don't we go Somewhere Only We Know oh wait, it's and a beautiful song so it was like it was already a terrible day for me Jamie mm-hmm. and I remember there was a guy who was a total dick. He was he was a manager, chef manager, who go these chef managers in the white shirts, you know the ones I'm talking aye, about? Aye, aye, the, aye. I don't know what it's like now. At the time, you know how much they got more than us an hour? I don't know, a pound or something? 50 pence, <laughs> right? <laughs> to be in charge of the shifts. And written, mate, they always look stressed out on exactly, that holiday, mate. They? they should be on 50 grand a year, they, but no, this guy. So I had like a bit of stubble. Bearing in mind, I was like, maybe like, I don't know what age I was like. 18 something mm. like that. I don't know I can't remember and he was like that is you need to go and get that shaved right and I was like ah, I, I don't have like a, a razor for that right <laughs> yeah. and he was like ah, I'll get you man right so he got me a razor but he did he didn't give me like shaving oh, like mate, foam or anything he made me like dry shave in the toilet with knee oh that's horrible I know mate yeah hey, that's not nice you could have you could have got a gobble rash for that <laughs> <laughs> you get a wee chin gobble rash. That would have been much more respectable. See, you're quite a hairy guy, you know. Aye. I don't think people know that about you. Like, see, when you grow a bit of stubble, it's like. But see, when I've, I've got a wee tiny bit of stubble now, but see, if I grow it right out, it doesn't look like a mad beard. Mm-hmm. You could get like a pure. 
Uh, Dan Blitz, what's that? Dan Blitzarian. Dan Blitzkrieg or something. Dan Blitzkrieg. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to drink. I should imagine I just never shaved my face for the whole of 2023. I think you should, mate. I think you should. I don't think I should. It would look mental. <laughs> <laughs> you look I mad? would look insane. I think you should, but just for me, just I've for never, this a is, month. Do you know what the thing is with me, right? This is why, this is why um, my stubble grows in fast. Because now everybody went through that period of like, I'm going to have a beard. Aye. I've never, ever, ever Aye. had that. Ever. No. So I've never, I've always just clean shaved, always for the minute I got stubble. So. Obviously, the more you shave it, the faster it, it grows, grows back in and like shit. Thicker and hairier. Than that. So I'm just left with a stubble, a stubbly bit of mess, mate. Aye. So see that same. Um, you should get into that and no, that. Mate, see, see as well. See talking. About, <laughs> get into that feet. <laughs> get see, in see that day. No, that day. Sorry, I got sacked from McDonald's. Right, three that months. Day. <laughs> I <I'll laughs> shaved. That. The worst day of my life, man. <laughs> but I, I remember I got I got sacked. Right, because. They were, I used to go to, I used to sit, <clears> the, I used to only be in the drive through See, when you start at McDonald's, they put you in the drive through Is like, that an easy shift, eh? It's easier than like dealing with like customers face to face, not I think. It was in London, London Road. So obviously the KFC's there as well. Mm-hmm. And I All remember, the big rivals, mate. Aye. Aye. But my pal, now Donicky, he was working in KFC as well at the time, right? <laughs> Do you used to scrap with him at lunchtime? I used that? to go for a meet. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember that. Like, one day they pulled me in. You used to have to go in and get your uh, your float, it was called, like your till with all the change in it, and then you'd put it in, and then you'd hand it in at the end of the day. So it was like, say like somebody's stealing money, like right. you know, everybody's got their own one, so they're, they're like, yours is short. No, right. it's like, no uh, the right. till short, yours is short. One day I went to go in. I was like, I'm just going in to get my float. And I just remember I sat sitting, she was like, ah, do you want to take a seat, Evan? Oh. And I was like, ah, you took your wee McDonald's hat. I was like, <laughs> sat down. I'm, getting, I'm getting offered the shift manager position here, man. So, uh, that extra 50 pence an hour. I, I was ready to just tell her my shirt size, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, and I sat down and she was like, at his, um, look, Evan, um, we just don't think you're progressing the way we would have hoped. Mm. And I was like, at, um, McDonald's. progressing, mate, I'm... Um, you know, burgers. <laughs> uh, but I used to, see, to be fair, I used to like sit down at the drive thru and I used to turn, there was a, there's a bin, like a wee, like just a wee tiny bin, and I used to like turn it upside down, just sit down all day at uh, the drive thru. But they're like, you can't sit down. It's I, unprofessional. Mate, how brutal are like, mad workplaces like that, right? Because I've, for, for when I left like school, I was just into mad like adult jobs straight away like it was like mechanics and then like working in a building site and that I never had any so see when I was at uni I was like I want a wee break for like being on a site and I mm-hmm. wanted like a normal like, a kind of a uni job aye. so I went and worked in foot asylum right no aye foot asylums I always get it mixed up with foot locker aye so I went and worked in foot asylum seen the interview I pure prepared for it like I went a civil engineering job, so I went in with pure like facts and all that, like pure hangs about the show, and I pure knew everything about it. <laughs> the guy was talking, and he, and he mentioned JD, and I was like, uh, I actually much prefer it. Foot Asylum, I think there's a better, like, blah, 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 than in JD. Like, I, I, do, I do prefer it, so I'm, I'm really happy to be working here. And the guy was like, All right. <laughs> <laughs> you so, like, calm down. He was like, Why? He was like, Why? Because like, <laughs> obviously JD's better, not I mean, Foot Asylum's a pure tramp show. But uh, I so I got that and I was like in the stockroom. It was the same probably. Like you're not dealing with people and that. And also I was like old, mate. I was like not old, but I was like twenty three, maybe twenty two or something. And I was like a, a mad huge cunt. Nah, no, I wasn't like the wee guys you get at the front. Like oh, you want a pair of Air Force? No. Like, so they were like just stick him downstairs. And uh, I was the same. Like when there was nothing happening, I would just like stack boxes of trainers, trainers, and just chill and sit and talk to the other boys that were doing there and that and they would come in and if you were on your phone a cunt came up to me one day and like done no allowed that need that he's been your locker mate and took my phone off me and i was like mate come back here you know took my phone and i was just i'm like i'm off mate and I <laughs> didn't they like I, I just hate when it's like there's like you're no it's not as if you're taking it for them not Aye. i mean if there's nothing going on why not just be able to do what you want i know but it's i know it's like it's like a mad faux professionalism, know what I mean? It's, I, like, it's like a level of professionalism that isn't required for where you are. <laughs> it's like different if you're like working for the bank and they're like busy and like they're like, oh, just stop, you're scrolling through Twitter or something. Aye. They're like, why are you doing that? Stop that. Aye. But the, the fuck thing is, they're like, the higher up you get in jobs and that, the less like that. Mm-hmm. 
because they treat you like Wayne's less, if you know what I mean. Aye, aye. So they're like, more lenient with you in a way, mm-hmm. with like shit. Whereas like you, as you say, you go walking for asylum, they're like, ah, what do you think you're doing? Aye. <laughs> Human rights, bro? No. <laughs> but so you left. Aye, I just walked it. So you didn't get back. sacked. Uh, I don't know. Does that, does that count? <laughs> no, you left. Sa- you left in your own terms. Aye. But mate, see that see that day I got sacked. I remember that like, I was like, oh my God, I've been sacked. You know what I mean? It was like, I'm, I might feel like, so this is what it feels like. <laughs> I remember like, I was outside in my wee McDonald's hat. I was like, had to phone a taxi because I didn't drive at the time. And like, I don't think like, I, I couldn't get a lift or whatever. And I remember like waiting on a taxi back for getting sacked. And I remember I just seen Donicky coming out KFC. And I was like, Donicky, what's happening, right? And I walked there and I was talking to him. He's like, I said, are you working? I said, fucking just get sacked. <laughs> I, I mean, said, I'm so denied. <laughs> I mean, that was the most of the he, he got ever. sacked for game, like, because it was at London Road, he had pals that were at the Selic game. Aye, and he, aye, were, aye. he was just getting people with aye, 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 aye. And shit. That's class, I love shit aye. like that, mate. He would look like a mad hero, I would look like a fucking reprobate. Mate, mate. I, I knew somebody that worked in Nando's, right? And like, I went up and I was like, oh, what's happening? That's good to see you. And I was like, oh, what's happening? So like, was that your order there? And it was like, I had phoned one in. And I was like, right, two minutes. And they went away and like gave me hundreds of extra like chips and like just hundreds of different shit, right? But see, when I got home, the bag was about that size, mate. And it was just a meal for me. <laughs> and they had like left out all the shit I wanted. Like, <laughs> I wanted like hummus and pita bread. I wanted chicken strips and I wanted like something else. And they didn't have any of that, but I had like three wraps and fucking Aye. like just all this mad unnecessary shit. Aye, one. so they went like... They were trying to be nice, bro, Aye, but no. it was like still incompetent. And Aye. you know what? I don't stand for that, so I never spoke to that person ever again. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, that. I had a fucking leather to cut <laughs> on the spot. Aye, hundred percent, bro. But I need, to, I need to give a special shout out to a boy, um, boy for Canvas slang that I grew up with, same same ages, man. That Reese Donnelly, who's on the Apprentice, oh, mate. Oh yes, yes. Reese is on the Apprentice, so. Best of luck to Reese on the Apprentice. Maybe one day he can come on and tell us mm-hmm. a bit about being on the Apprentice. Morgan was telling me about his like he runs like a theatre school. He runs a theatre school in Scotland. Aye, heavy, like, aye. aye he's, big time. Oh aye, Reese is uh, he's got it now, he's baby. Wanted. But I was uh, a guy in my work said to me today, uh, Ross. He was like, ah, do you know the boy that's on the Apprentice because he's for Canvas Lang and all, and he's like, obviously he's similar ages, blah blah blah. And I was like, aye, Reese, man, I know Reece. And then I was thinking, I was like, ah, got my first BJ in his gaff. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Historic, bro. I know, mate. What a monumental thing to happen. Aye, man. aye. That's something you'd never forget. Oh, bro. <laughs> never forget no, that, no, bro. No. The first BJ. Do you want to tell me about that? <laughs> oh, well, bro. What was his name? Reese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the, the lights were out, mate. Um, <laughs> San Francisco, 1967. Um, well, it was the, the flats across to the county. Um... It was a wee house party and it was delightful. It was the time I was going through a bit of an indie phase. Um, mm. That was the popular thing at the I time. Like that, for mate. I was listening to a lot of maybe the cooks. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying it was your fault, although you could have done more. <laughs> You're so naive, bro. Hair flick. <laughs> and uh, that's yeah. how I got my dick was, sucked was that night, when let's you had the cut? Aye. I like that, mate. And people I like, have... Do you know that's my favourite version of you, mate? And I'm not even kidding you on. You never even met that I version. <laughs> mate, mate, people, there was a line of people to suck my dick that night, bro. I would have been, mate. Oh, I would have been. Are we, are we like, uh, checkered, like, Ben Sherman shirt or something? I, like, no, I think I had... Mate, I actually think I had the Rihanna top on, oh, bro. Oh, bro. Nate, what are you? You get your dick wet, you know what I mean? Mm, mate, I was trying to suck my own dick that night, bro. <laughs> and they told you that... Remember that rumour that we were like, Marlon Manson, mate, <laughs> got a rib removed, suck on dick, bro. <laughs> as if that's the only obstacle for that, you know what I mean? Like, is it actually there? I've never tried it. Have you ever, be honest, have you ever tried that? Have you ever tried to, no, I haven't. But honestly, promise me, because I haven't, <laughs> and I was just like, it's so, weird that I haven't. Uh, <laughs> it's weird you have I don't know, I just, I it's weird if you have. It's the kind of thing that I would expect. I haven't, but I've seen a clip of Joe Rogan saying he can do it. He can do me, can do everything. That can five hundred million a year for Spotify. I'd be sucking my own dick, man, <laughs> or I'd be trying it at least. <laughs> More the fuck, Spotify, man. But ima- imagine, like, is that even true about Marlon Manson? No, no. There was so many rumours about that cunt, mate, because he was weird. But I was watching an interview with. It wasn't even an interview. It was on like an old podcast. I listened to podcasts for like two thousand and four and all that, right? And um, 
no Gallagher was on it and he was talking and he was like ah, it was Ron Manson's and we were doing shots and all that and he's like pure parry with him Charles. which I think is pure weird <laughs> but uh, he was like ah, yeah, he's cool he's like see, see all that shit about him it's pure no true like all the mad wild shit and he doesn't even like that kind of music like he's heavy loves Oasis and all that like Aye. just a wee like is he um is he American? Aye. Aye, 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 aye. LA, you know that, innit? LA, aye. LA, you know that. It's <laughs> LA, you know that. <laughs> Do you know the only reason I'm saying that? Because that part of the world thought it was in LA. Aye. Ah, it's for LA, of course. Aye. LA, you know that, bro, <laughs> innit? But, um, mate, you know what I was, I know what I was laughing about the other day? I remember, no, troops, a wee announcement. I'm off the bud. Oh. We are no baked. We're no bait. <laughs> for once. For one podcast only. <laughs> we're no bait. See if this is a fucking train wreck, we're going to come in next week. <laughs> Even then, going to be able to understand this next week, honestly. But I'm off it, mate. Aye. I've made the decision. I think. I've noticed a, an improvement in you, mate. See, like, Aye. just general conversation that you're on the ball, bro. I, I think I have, mate. That, mate. I do think I've been so. making lists, <laughs> checking them twice and all that, mate. <laughs> uh, but I feel very awake. I feel very fresh. I feel on the ball. I feel not overwhelmed by simple tasks Aye, in my life invigorated. so but mate i remember right before this is this didn't uh, this is a total lie saying that this led up to me thinking about it but it was just funny thinking about it i remember there was like i got up to see the day that i finished up work mm-hmm. i remember i went home and i was like i'm gonna go up the floor and like finish my christmas shopping it was like the 23rd Third maybe so i went home and i smoked this joint and i was like ah, right fucking up before my christmas shop and i finished it like 11 mate you know what i mean like home early and i remember like being heavy baked right like majorly baked and i was like pure i had i had earphones and i was fucking walking up i was like this is amazing i remember like going in a sh- i went in jd i think right and i remember like walking about right and i was like Am I walking round the shop too fast? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, am I? I'm not even aye. looking at it, and I'm just aye. like going up and brushing by shit. Aye, 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 like, aye. I'm, I'm like looking at the stuff, but I'm like now in my head, I'm like, am I going? Am I going too fast here? Aye, aye, am aye. I like? So were you thinking like what you're going to be perceived at as? Aye, like, like were you thinking our cunts looking at me going, look how quick you shot? <laughs> that guy's like kidding on his shopping. Aye, Do you know what I mean? Aye. It was like I was like. Somebody was like, go in there and like, just look like you're in a shop. Aye, but aye, but aye. I, I was like walking out and then I'd walk out the shop and I was like, I didn't even really actually look at it. Aye, it was yeah. as if I was like trying to do the act of shopping, but aye. I wasn't the actual shopping. Aye, I get you. And mean, I remember, mate, mate, this is how I knew I was far too big. I, I went into, this is at the time I had the gobble rash. <laughs> um, and I went into uh, <laughs> fucking, what's it called? Um, bo- uh, what's it called? Body care? Aye, aye, yeah. I went into body care. The body get, shop? Body, no, it wasn't a body shop. It's like, um, is it body care? I think it is. Aye, I'm for like, aye. aye, so I went in to get like lip shit, right? Aye, but lip shit. <laughs> <you know? laughs> so I went in, and I remember like I was looking for the wee section, and I remember I had one, and I lost it on the way there. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'll just buy that one again. It was for Tesco, but I couldn't find the mad section with the lip shit. Aye. But then I found like some. It was like that mad Burt Bees. Do you know what aye, I mean? The, the other aye, one. That's the beeswax one, mate. That's dynamite. Right. Huh? So like I bought it, right? It was like lip balm. And it, it, they didn't have a big selection, and I was like, "This is weird because this is the type of place that would have a big it selection." Should have, of it should be half the show. Ah, exactly, lip shit. <laughs> uh, so I bought it, and, I, and then I went out, and I remember like looking at it in the bag, and I was like, "Is that the right stuff?" It was like it looked like it, but it wasn't. It looked a bit small, and I was like, ah, "Oh, what, I'm I, I'm heavy baked." Lip, I kept reading. It, I was like, "Lip bam." lip balm is that, is that what it's called lip balm and i was like oh fuck i've bought the fucking uh, like the like lip like gloss like no gloss but uh, like yeah, the mad mean? juicy one I, so I, like the one that like squeezes uh, out and i was like fuck i'm fucking stoned at my nut i'm going to, need to go back and buy the right one uh, i don't so mind that shit, I, but, but no but i went back and bought another one and then realized I had bought the right hang. And but see the other one that you bought I, was that the ranking? No, they were both <laughs> no, they were both the right hang. It was just pure bait. Pure mate, game. I hate like um, <clears throat> cause I did shopping like Christmas shopping bake, mate. And it's I dope. it's no fun because it's so overwhelming and no, that mate. It's... I was like in House of Fraser looking for something for my mom and it was like I was looking at the oh, you're a fucking Mate, disgrace. how did that even happen? Mate, there, it always happens. You're a marshmallow. I'm a, I'm a scruff. <laughs> uh, aye, so I was in House Fraser and I was looking for like 
shit for my man. She likes like smelly things, like see like mad candle Aye. diffuser things and that. Black smells not. Aye, but I, I was like, I had already bought a lot. I bought her a scarf, bought her a pair of trainees, so I was like, I'll get her one of these, that'll be extra thing. And I fucking went up to one and I was like talking to a woman. You know how they're always so helpful, mate. It's like being in like America or something when you're in the house of Fraser. Aye, it's like, <laughs> so I, so this is like, you know, it's just sitting, that's just like, oh. and then she was like just hoarding shit up for me to smell, right? And I was like, oof. And that, that's not, I was like, out loud I was going that one's no nice and then she showed me another one and I was going that one's alright and then she showed me one and I was like that's the best smell I've ever smelled in my life and she was people looking at me like that and I was like aye and she was like right and she was going like a wee bottle she was like right so uh, that's that's actually 30% off and it's uh, £112 and I was actually just looking and know how that way I had to pretend that like I was maybe going to buy it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was never uh, buying yeah, yeah, mate, yeah. I was it was one of the wee diffusers, mate. I was never buying was... one of them for a hundred odd quid, you oh, know what I mean? Like I wouldn't buy one of them for a score. Nah. Out on the table. <laughs> but, but, uh, what, for the best smell you've ever smelled in your life. So, it was so good. But I don't know if I was just baked. That's what, what I mean, Because I, I was smelling them going, eh, and all that. And obviously they were nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was trying to like, because I, I was thinking, how would somebody react? To, like, how do you react to a nice smell? Uh, See, I, like... Ooh. <laughs> See, it's hard, mate. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> that's the nicest. Mm. But, um, <laughs> but I, mate, walking about that shop, just actual dazed, mate. Dazed and confused. I think... See, when you smoke bud, you convince yourself, like, say you've got a day something, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, it'll be so much better, babe. Aye. And it's, everything seems like it will be. And the only things that really are, are like... Sitting in your house, sitting on, like, watching the telly. Uh, eating. Eating and playing computer games. No, what's really, know what the best thing to do baked is, right? No joke. Bowling. Bowling, aye. Go bowling, baked. It's, you love bowling, It's you? so much. Aye, but I don't go because I know I don't get baked. But I only go when I get baked, mate. Aye, I don't. Aye, aye. Going sober just feels aye. a bit sad. I'll do that, mate. There's a mad thing. I was actually wanting to go with you, mate. See, up at the top of St. Enoch Centre, there's like a mad. No, mate. No, no, bro. No. We're not going? No, mate. Listen, like, what is it called? I get level X. Level X. Bro, you do not want to go to that place. Oh. Right. Me and, so, um, me and Erin went there, right? Mm-hmm. And obviously, what, 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 what did we do before? Get oh, baked. We'll get baked. <laughs> so, we're like, ah, this will be heavy funny. There's like VR, there's this, there's this, right? Like mini golf. So, we're like, I can't wait. So, we get into Enoch Centre, right? And it's like late, so like all the shops are shut, but mm. like this shit's still open. We walk by this bar, mate, and there's like a following bar in St. Enoch Centre up the stair. I was like, I feel like I've not been here in a bit Where fucking ten. No, but it's like I'm mad. There's, it's a bar and you can throw axes in it, right? It's mad, it's mad, mate. I was like, am I, am I tripping? Is this real? <laughs> That's what you do. And I was like, is this it in here? But it, it wasn't. It was like, it's like where Hamleys was. Ah, I remember so that. Aye. We walked around, right? So we walked up to the door, right? We get there, and the guy's like, oh, like, can I scan your code or whatever? So he scans the QR code, and he just gives us a wristband. And the guy was absolutely reeking a bo, like was to he? the point. I think he was Latvian or reeking something. And, and the Latvians are famous for a bit mm -hmm. of body odor. So. He was absolutely reeking out. This was actually distracting me to the point that I don't think I was listening to what Aye. he was. But I either wasn't listening or he didn't tell me what to actually do to mm. use everything, right? So I'm like, I think a bit of both. Aye, it probably was a bit of both. But I think it was me. I honestly think it was me. He didn't even actually explain how he, like, he just gave us this band and he was like, fucking Latvians. On you go. The Latvians are fucking dead, man. I don't know. But. So we we walk, start walking through it, mate, and it's heavy, intense, bro. It's like heavy, loud, the pure arcade noises, not, but it's like intense, mate. I think I like it was that, though. Full of like mad gamers, like pure like mad sort of like like people running about with like bunny ear zone and all that. Uh, like oh, like mad shit. anime cunts, not. Aye, I, mean, man. I, I would fit right in there. I think I'll get my Goku costume on. <laughs> <laughs> my you walk up the door, <laughs> but, right, mate. But, mate, we walk, so, we walk through, right? <laughs> And like we're like looking at the bowling and we're like, how do you? There's like people on it, but it was. I'm like, did we just walk up and go? Or like, now that way you're like mm -hmm. second guessing you yourself. Mean, and like, so do you know how Jank? It's no logistically. It's no that good a place. Like it's no set but, up. But right? this is this is the thing. So we, I was like, right. We walked right through and there's like a bar. When you get to the other end, of it right. So I was like. We're looking at things, we're like, I don't know what to do. We just have this band. And we're like, you don't need to pay for the shit to... So I was like, right, let Erin tell you what we'll do. We'll go to the bar, we'll get we'll get a drink, and when we're getting a drink, I'll say to the person at the bar, like, 
what's, here, like, what? What's going on here? Saw this about, mate. <laughs> saw this carry on in here, you know? Hey, um, I'm on the bar like that, yeah. Well, let's pick your ear for a minute. So, like, I remember I walked, so, and I hate this in places I know, I walked up to the bar and they're like, no, you need to order down there. And it's like, uh, yeah. just, do, like, literally two seconds away. And then, like, you get your drink here, you order it for there. And I'm like, you, whatever. So, I go down and order the drink night. It's this wee guy. And I'm like, he's like, hey, hi, what do you want? And I'm like, um, can, I think, I was burning booze. And I was just like, can I just get, like, two Cokes? This was, this journey was merely to know how to uh, use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's tactical mission. And he was like, um, I no bother. And I was like, he's like, you having a good night? And I was like, actually, mate, <laughs> I said we just go here um, so like how d- how does this all work mate like how <laughs> imagine and he was, got pure offended it, but, like... but he was like that to me mate so um, you can uh, you can play uh, virtual reality you can play bowling uh, we've got games and I was like I am no blind mate I'm asking <laughs> how the fuck I, like <laughs> how does it, how does it all work so like he's explaining it he's like yeah so I was like alright um, it looks so simple in the TikToks. I it's it, it's no mate. So we ended up just sitting down and Aaron was like, ah, "Why well, just go home?" Aww. And I was like, ah, "Aye, fuck it." Yeah, <laughs> so we no just left. Ending. We didn't do what we we, no, we we were about to leave, right? We're walking back up to the lat vein body owner, mm. uh, body owner guy, and well, there was a mini golf thing, mm. like a like a crazy golf Aye. thing, and I was like, "Momo, take what I last dig at this." <laughs> so we went to walk round. And like we walked around and it was just like so confusing. We're like, fuck this, we just got here. <laughs> did we you, actually just went did you get pure embarrassed in that, like, stone in there? Uh, do you know that way, like, especially because I was baked as well, we were probably like, I, we did know what it looked like the two mad cunts that were like, what do you, what you, what you, so you just do, do that? <laughs> I would rather have just went him. <laughs> no, it's a mad thing to do. So mate. just stick to the hot fucking the key, mate. mate. Trips, lot like our New Year's resolutions being made, I'm here. Made and broken. Made and broken in the first week. A lot of uh, gym memberships being cancelled within the first week. Sadly. It's very sad. But one resolution we must stick to, especially the males out there, you've got to keep those pubes fresh this year, baby. (laughs) Pubes. So, you know, we can't abandon downstairs. It can get like a jungle. It can get pretty out of control down there. And there's only one place to go to take care of that and that is manscape.com baby so let me talk you through some of the products that manscape offer they offer a performance pack which kind of gives you everything you need aye, everything you could need for your your manscape needs aye i mean they've got the lawnmower 4.0 which is the like electric uh, clippers that they have skin safe technology so the likelihood is you're not going to nick your skin with these you get a wee light on it so if you're doing it in the dark, which I do. Aye, which Jamie loves Aye. today. It's oh, chat, more challenging. I strictly mean. in the dark. It's made it, Manscaped has made it too easy to shave my balls mm-hmm. now, so I need Aye. to try and... Aye, you need to challenge yourself. Exactly. So, um, they've all, It's also waterproof, so you can use it in the shower. Um, and also as well, like I don't know if you're meant to, but you could easily just shave your chest in that way as well. Like It's not just that. for your balls. Aye. Aye. It's good It's good for that as well. So don't think this is just for the balls, but it is designed for the balls, I'll be honest. Um, and what you're going to get with us is 20% off and free worldwide shipping. So it doesn't matter where you're watching this. You're in Ireland, you're in Belgium. Mozambique. Mozambique, which we've got a big fan base out there. And shout Huge. out. Uh-huh. to all my Mozambicans out there, yeah. Um, so, it'd be daft not to take this. 20% off your order, free worldwide shipping, and, you know... And just feeling fresh. For f- feeling fresh, possible. feeling fine. I mean, the, the day that I've got the ball deodorant, the ball toner... I mean, like, before Manscaped, mate, I was... Uh, I just had a, a lighter. Mm-hmm. I just used to do that with a lighter. What were you doing again? You were, like... Singeing the math, aye. Aye, aye, we were both doing a bit of singeing, aye. aye. You so taught me the lighter technique, but it's and so we much do not advise that. So much better. And Manscape don't either. They advise that you buy their products. So to get twenty percent off and free worldwide shipping, use the code Riley's Gaff at checkout. So that's R E I L L Y S G A F F, and keep those balls tidy this year. Come on, guys. If you have been involved in an accident on the road. Um, and these can be very scary occasions, guys. Um, th- they can send a f- state of shock through your body. It can be very alarming. There's a company that are going to take care of things for you. It's a very scary thing to get a bump in the roads. The best thing for you to do is call G4 Claims. 
The GFOL claims are going to take care of the whole process for you if you're involved in an accident that wasn't your fault. So the best way to get in touch with G4 Claims is maybe through their website, notatfaultclaim.com. You can also get in touch with them on their phone number, 01698-767-172. Now, G4 Claims have won awards, many awards, business awards. So they, they know what they're doing, guys. Let G4 take the stress out of this very stressful situation for you. Um, it is a very serious issue. We don't like to joke about anything like that. So, you know, guys, if you are in a bit of bother on the road, get in touch with them and mention that you've seen them on Riley's gaff. Cheers. It's a big year for us, and it's a big year for another young man, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Now, I... We know I've got a history of being on the ball with the TikToks. I am the biggest agent there is out there for the TikTokers. I did discover Lee Sutherland when mm. he was merely a twinkle in um, PC McGregor's eye. He was. Um, and then we did move on for a period to a man called John Peters. John Peters. Um, and John Peters was a flash in the pan. He, 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 he bumped it. He did eat. He couldn't handle the heat. Mm -hmm. John Peters, uh, what was happening with John Peters was, um, I think he owned like a motorbike. He used to fix motorbikes uh, or something. Yeah, yeah. And like people, because he was getting like big on TikTok, people were like phoning his business, like mm -hmm. pure, I've, him I've got a bike. No, uh, yeah. it, like, just, and he was like, I need to come off this. It's ruining my life. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> he will, if he, I, but I have a sneaky feeling one day I'm going to see his face pop up again. Man, that'll be the best day Because I tell yeah. you what, see that TikTok? It's a drug, yeah? You can't stay away for long, baby. Mm. But there's another young man. Now, I don't know the story with this young man. I think he's maybe from Edinburgh. Now, I want to get in contact with this young man. I want, want to maybe get a call with him. This young man, is he Scotland's answer to Francis Bourgeois? Possibly, yes. I would, I would say, say. I would say he's more... Um, He's more like elegant. Um, bohemian, aye, aye. elegant, kind of aye, high society. So kinda. this guy, he loves, he, what he does all day, it just appears to me that he just goes up and down on the train all day um, to like London and that. And then I don't really know what else goes on, but he loves trains, he loves buses, mm -hmm. he loves a bus. He just um, loves public transport. He, loves, he absolutely loves the public transport, but... Over the festive period, he was enjoying himself. Now, we've got a wee TikTok here we're going to watch. Now, this is the first one in the series, so this is go. This is actually, his, I think it's his most viewed one, so... I bought all my bucket in my room. I'm going to get steam in the night, I should. Ooh, so that is obviously... I bought all my bucket in no, my... Keep, keep it going, keep it going. Let, just keep it playing. I'm going to get steam in the night, night, I should. I should. So it, I bought all my bucket and my room. room. I'm, I'm gonna get steam in the night. I should. <laughs> so, so then going to the next one. Now this is obviously after he's drank it. Mm -hmm. This is my favourite video of the year so far. Is that aye? Of oh. 2023. Aye, aye. Um, look at how this young man is full of vigour and life, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Alright, everybody. How are we? How are we doing tonight? Oh, me, it's good. How are we doing? Oh, yeah. So he's got a bit I'll, of sex to feel about him and all. He does. He's got, he's got it all, this boy. I, I was wondering, like, imagine... So you were talking about Crazy Golf earlier on, right? Mm -hmm. um, my lovely sister, Sarah, is getting married to... At the Crazy Golf? To James. No, but <laughs> my dad, uh, or Sarah, sorry, had bought like a crazy golf like, event team to eh, come to the wedding like outside there'll oh, be a so mad, you can go play it I think. Uh, like uh, and they get like those hunters of mad shit gonna mm -hmm. be happening it's gonna be class but i was just wondering could i hire him maybe because imagine him like kicking about the wedding party like he's got just getting he's got an email address now i've thought about emailing him several times mm -hmm. now do i think do i think he could come on here and be a guest who knows i, I don't really know i think we should try and phone the young man um and just get a chat with him. I think, see, when it comes to Warrior, right, I think he, he's, like, no, no seeing the kind of day, the long-form content, but seeing shop, sharp bursts, that's mm -hmm. where he thrives. That's where I mean? he's thriving the new. Mm -hmm. um, now, I want to talk to this young man about what is it you love about the transport? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Well, let's let's see. What, what do you what, do you love transport? Do you love public transport? Yeah. I, I, I just want to see, because we could probably work out what he loves about it. I do love a train. 
No, but like, so he'll post a video, right? And he'll be like, one of, one of the ones I love is like, he's stoning it. It looks like Buchanan bus station and it's like a City Link bus is coming in. And he's like, this is fucking madness. This has never been this late. Oh my God, I can't believe this and all that. So he's he's like, angry the at seven, it? The 708 for Lancaster, I can't believe this. It's never, oh my God, this is total madness. So he's very, he loves the timetable. Right, aye, He loves, aye. right, this is running here and it stops here, 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 here. That's like a bit of, aye, maybe he's into that, like, because, like, it is good to see a bit of scheduling, do you know what I mean? See maybe he's into scheduling. See when we get, like, a couple of months, like, ironed oh, out, aye. mate, it feels good, do you know aye. what I mean? Maybe he just likes a bit of, like, um, a bit of control. Mm -hmm. That bus is coming at this time, it's stopping there and then it's gone away again. Aye, I think it could be something and like that. It's, uh, it's supplying a service to the city. So aye. you said he's for Edinburgh, aye? I, th I think so. I'm not entirely sure. I think he is. I'll look up buses to wish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need to... We could maybe do a bus run with him. That oh, would be how good mate, would that How be? good were they, by the way, when you're oh. a wee guy? Did you ever do them? Aye. Like just a, being... 75 pence and you just go everywhere. Mate, they're, they're, obviously they get the... Do you get the bus for nothing now, the youngsters? Do they? Aye. aye, but it's like, I heard something on the radio about how it's like causing the pure mayhem because they're like, they're all just going on buses and boxing each other and all that. Aye, like pure mad and shit. points for like, aye. mate, because think about how Baltic it is, like, so when you're cutting about getting steam in and that. Aye. Imagine you could just sit at the back of a bus, mate. That'd oh, be good. Just going about for place to place, like, why to get off here? I steaming. Used to, I used to pure love, like, we used to go on bus run, like, we used to all meet in my pal Lee's house, right? And then we'd all go on a bus run, like, five A's, and it would be like going to mad, like, no mad places, but like, to bo young boys for Springburn Knightswood might as well be Barbados know what Aye. I mean so we'd be like going there on the back of the bus playing like darn styles out our phones like BB uh, like Blackberry <laughs> phones know what I mean it'd be people like I want to go out every night and everybody just be mate see the that was the height of my social life mate. Aye, <laughs> like, it was, it was that's when I hell. enjoyed hanging about with cunts most of my Aye. life mate what age would you say you were? probably first year it's at Aye. 12 or something Think how sociable that you were on first year. I mean, you just loved hanging about with cunts, Just mate. people. I was just going to say that I was up at uh, Morgan's wee cousin's house the other day, right? Mm -hmm. And um, he was sitting in and I was sitting playing FIFA with him and he was like getting steaming. He's like 17 or something. He's sitting like boozing. He's um, well, sitting playing FIFA and that and he's trying to get his pals out. He's like trying to get something sorted and he's going, oh, just text him and all that. And he's fucking just trying to sort things out. But he was like pure trying to. And I was like, why not just stay in and play the computer? Because that sounds heavy amazing to me, you know what I mean? And he was like, fuck that, mate. Like, because it was like Saturday uh, night or something. He's like, fuck that. And the people looked at me as if I was insane. Uh, but I can't imagine that being pure desperate to go. But uh, mine cunts used to just like, uh, cunts used to put in us, I don't know if it was like Instagram stories or something. But cunts used to be like, any cunt go to a house and you would just go to any I, house, I, mate. I just like, we've got one, like, where is it? I will go. Uh, seven, Didn't even need to know them. Seven cunts, question mark. Uh, <laughs> it's I, just like... 18 people. <laughs> Remember, like, you'd, uh, you'd like, list the number and you'd be like, like, 10 guys. No, mm. no, we only say guys. That's <laughs> 10 heavy. guys is heavy, <laughs> CD, bro. You got a gaff of 10 big guys. 10 guys. guys. <laughs> Ten men. You got a guy for ten. Any you lovely young ladies got a guy for ten guys. <laughs> but I, I, it would could be like anywhere, mate. Like anywhere, and you didn't need to know them or anything, and you just turn up and get pure steam, and it'd be the best time ever. Aye. But see the thing is, mate. See, thinking back to the gaffs, they had random ones that were like, cause all my pals used to meet in my house, and like start getting on it in my house, and then find somewhere to go. And I can't like remember it. There's nothing memorable for the nights really, because it's just like they will just blend into each other. They'll just blend into one. Like they, it my ages for like sixteen, eighteen. They're just like a blur disappeared, bro. I, it's just it was all a blur. It's all a blur. Yeah, there's, I don't know how much I can talk about it on a podcast. Oh, <laughs> oh, don't know how much I can talk about it on tell it. <laughs> on tell it. <laughs> mate, I may ask you about something. No, I think I'm gonna end up watching this. Boy, my what Stephen told me to watch it today. Um. You're banging on a bit about this show called Traitors. Oh, mate. Is it good? Traitors is fucking excellent television. What's so good about it? There's so there's so much to like about it. Have you watched it? Oh, right, mate. BBC coming out with some good stuff now. Mm -hmm. I just need to say, right. I just, I'm such an old guy. <laughs> but, um, not BBC, <laughs> or I play it. <laughs> but, mate, Traitors, right. So, it's, uh, it's set in the Scottish Highlands, right. They get, like, I think it's like 22 people. Different people. So, Disney Mart, like, it's no pure heavy good looking guys and birds mm -hmm. 10 10 guys 10 birds no it's just ten like big guys all ages and that just like different personalities on <laughs> into this house and three of them are traitors 
and the rest are faithfuls, right? And every single night, it's kind of like a murder mystery or like a who done it kind of thing. Okay. Know what I mean, it's like Among Us. You ever played that ah, game? Yeah, yeah. It's like that. So it's like every night the traitors all meet up and they can like kill somebody, so they bump somebody off. So if somebody's getting kind of close to them or whatever, or like is quite a clever cunt or whatever, they'll like sack them off. And then, and then there's also a thing called the round table. <laughs> like they all sit around this table and they banish somebody that, that the faithfuls hinks a traitor but for ages on that one I, I won't like ruin it for you right because it's honestly so good but for ages on that one like they just kept like banishing the faithful people and it's like a pure like mate so see for the first episode right see for the first day they walk in they all go in and it's in this mad castle in the islands and they're all buzzing and getting to know each other mate see by like the third episode they're all having mental breakdowns not that mate oh. like all of them having mad panic attacks like false and, and it videos but, them mate and it watches them gone outside sitting against walls not like that, mate. That. It's that's pure, hardcore but. mate I, it's mad and see like i remember just thinking like I think it did a recap and it went to the first episode and I was like, they all look different and everything because like, Aye, they're all pure they're stressed aged. out on that after like three days, you know what I mean? But it's so good, bro. Because you watch it? Aye, because i seen somebody say like, this is what happens when you take like, forced love or like, trying to, it's like sexual relationships out of reality telly. It goes to being an actual good experiment. Aye, rather like, than just like, look at all these hot people getting after <laughs> each other. Who's gonna pump who? The, the, the pinnacle of that's that too hot to handle. Oh, but mate, I'm, I, 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 that's, that's a mental, bro. Aye. The horniness levels oh. on that are unreal. But mate, I need to tell you about, it, I don't think this ruins much, right? But a guy in a lassie went on it as they were a couple but they went on it and didn't they tell him they were a couple so they were like oh hi nice to meet you and all that like then shit like right. that so they've got like kind of double the chance because you win like a hundred grand all if right, you're okay. still standing at the end of it right so um aye so they went on it but see straight away a guy pure fancies the lassie right <laughs> like I've had this, this kind of skateboard the guy's like a BMX or something <laughs> And he, he's just like, oh, she's like, when, because the day, like, uh, they talk to the camera things, like, no, like the Big Brother chair and that, the day, like, that kind of thing. And he's gone, like, oh, she's, she's, like, mad pretty, you know, that? like, a pure like her, not. <laughs> and he's hanging about with her like, every day and pure, like, firing right in here. And she's kind of just being nice, being like, oh, no, but she ends up parry with him. And then she gets accused of being a traitor. And the boyfriend stands up and he's like, right. He's she's no a traitor because she's my bird, and then that wee guy starts greeting on camera, oh and, on God. and it's pure like second hand embarrassment, but at the same time, it's just addictive, mate. I watched them all, like, I watched the first how, episode. How many is there? 12, I think. 12 right. hours, 12, 12 hours worth. Watched it on one day. No, I watched them on like three days, mate. And I, the first episode, I was like sitting and Morgan had it on, she's like, I keep hearing stuff about this, and I was like, sitting on my phone, like, I'll be pure shite, man. And I was like, just kept watching it. Like that. So, so. Right, so he's a traitor, right? Cool, right? And he got, into, he got into the mad mate. I was trying to explain this to her as well. Like, see when, see when, like, there's a show like that that pure force mad made up words onto the people. So they'll be sitting going, like, I'm really stressing about the round table and all that. And they keep saying this thing about the round table, not as if it's a normal bit of their vocabulary. Aye, it just ends up in my head and all. So I just sit and hold it. Like, like the round table, I'll be like, right, yeah. And, and, <laughs> and as well, like, what I noticed about that as well, like, killing people. Like you said, like, aye, they just kill, they'll kill them. Aye, but so, like, so, like, but that sounds insane. You know what I mean? Like, I get the boy my work the day was like, ah, and hey, what happens is then they'll get killed, right? And I'm like, what? And he's like, <laughs> no, that means just like, poo. <laughs> yeah, aye. So it's like, they go to a mad room and they've got like hoods up and all like oh. that. And they go up and then they like, they discuss who's going to, who's like fucking, they're going to kill that. But then the traitors can be traitors to each other on that. Aye. And I'm not going to ruin anything, but. Wilf is a bit of a fucking wrong in for what he done, but I, it's fucking I Wilf like Wilf is a bit of a, a nutter, but I, I quite liked him. I was rooting for him the whole Wilf? time. I Wilfred sounds we, like we, we sounds like he should be in like Wilf. should be sounds like he should be in like uh, Biff Chip and Kipper, mate. You remember that? No, it's that. You don't remember that? No, we get up. Do you not remember the Biff Chip and Kipper, the Magic Key, bro? That's that's made up. Oh, that's made up. The, all oh, the words are lies. Shut up, bro. Yeah, the man. Magic Key. Troops, comment if you remember the fucking Magic Key. Comment if you think Wolf was a good guy. <laughs> Biff Chip, I can't believe. Aye, can we get some up, mate? I've not got a clue what you're talking about. Get a picture of the, the Magic Key up. It's Wayne's books. Oh. The Magic Key. How do you remember things like that? Because I've got a brain, I don't bro. I remember the Magic Key, but I remember Biff Chip and Kipper. Obviously. Did you, hey? Sounds like you started a fucking a rap song. They had uh, they had some bars. It does. It sounds like a. It sounds like slang for like 
gear or something down. It does. Back upper. We a wee buff Captain Dipper. Something like that. <laughs> a wee buff, buff chicken dipper. <laughs> <laughs> right, mate, I've got something I want to show you right, right now, right? Right, show me. So I showed you this guy earlier on. Would you would, would, would like to describe him? It's a almost otherworldly man, a uh, huge man wearing a jacket made out of entirely uh, animal fur. Wolf There's nothing fake at eye. Aye. He's killed a wolf, I. So explorer Peter Freuchen claimed that in 1926 he freed himself from an avalanche using a chisel made from his own feces <laughs> and then they had to amputate his foot and mad zap hold bro on. hold on hold on hold on right, right, right. a chisel made out of his own shite aye and a mad like a so snowy he avalanche so he f- he must have let it freeze so aye. he shat he's let it freeze for like hours or whatever and then hacked half his own leg with that's a real explorer aye that's like I'm not having your bird grill shit and all that when there's people like this kicking about that's a shortcut to sepsis that is man Aye, well, that's what he's saying. He had to get it chopped off, but it's badass, isn't it? Aye. And he loves to tell the tale, look at him. And his big jacket. And he... how, mu- <laughs> how much money do you think that jacket's worth? <laughs> Mate, that jacket's priceless. But see, the thing is, I think, grand. I think he's made it just off things that he's killed with his own shite. I think he's been stabbing wolves with... Stalk, stalk <laughs> <his shape. laughs> like, This guy seems like he's just looking for a reason to use his own <laughs> shite. freeze his shite, <laughs> aye. aye. But see, saying that, mate, it is a very useful thing. Because see if you think about shite, right? It's only, it's only useful if you freeze it. No, but think about it, right? Shite. If you're like, <laughs> see if you're like st- stuck somewhere like an avalanche or something, right? Shite is a tool that you've just created. It's mm. a mad bit of matter that's no in your body, you know what I mean? Aye, it's like a, something you can like produce for like having nothing. Aye, for having nothing. So but if I mean, it runs out at a certain point because if you're not you can't just out. you can't just keep. What if you just started munching hunters of rocks and that, and you get a mad <laughs> rock hard? But if you're in an avalanche, all you got to be in snow, and it's just got to be a passion. Right, so he could have pissed, and but see what he could have done with his shite. He could have made a wee, a wee like a, a mold of his own shite, pissed in it, let that freeze, and then hacked his leg off. That would have been more hygienic, maybe. I can tell you've thought about this. Aye. No, mate, I've not. I was only just so on the many spot. I was right off the There's only so many times you can shite, mate. So you don't think, do you not think shite's a useful tool then, if you're in an avalanche? I think that's the best thing I've ever heard, mate. Like, what would you do in an avalanche? Just Die. greeting that? I think. What See, if, no, if you were in an avalanche, would you try that? If, like, I, would no, be, I would be thinking about it. What, would you, like, what would, it, what would have to happen to you for you to be like, See, see, see if you like remembered me telling you this while you like were in an avalanche say you're there for like six hours aye and you're, you're fucked around and you're like I'm just that's me deed and then you remember this moment right now how happy would you be I'd be like oh my god thank god for James Kelly <laughs> and showing me Wilfred that Wilfred Freuchen <laughs> no Peter Paul Peter Wilfred me I'm obsessed Wilfred, with Wilfred Wilfred I don't know <laughs> for that fucking thing yeah, aye Wilf sorry Daff, Peter Freuchen <laughs> Wilfred Freuchen <laughs> but mate can I show you something else yeah you can what do you think about mythical creatures uh, I don't know if I believe them do you believe in like you ever heard like stories about your, your yetis your what? sasquatches uh, aye what's the other one mermaids mermaid <laughs> oh the other like giant thing what's it called again bigfoot aye you... it's the same thing aye that's what I, aye, so... is a yeti know that I know aye, aye that's what I mean yeti is a gay sasquatch aye it's, it's a sasquatch with more pizzazz what is sasquatch then sasquatch is bigfoot like the American version of sasquatch I think sasquatch is like the native American name it's, for that's like Mexican aye, or something that, that's not the, it's like it's like um, <laughs> I, 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 I'm saying it was native American I'm like Mexican makes sense to me that it would be Mexican aye but, but what are you showing us right mate so so Andrew Dawson, he's a TikToker and he spotted a, a giant on a mountain, right? Um, so he uses a handle handicapped and he went viral in early 2022 and he shared a clip of what seemed like a giant person in the mountains. However, he's no posted anything on the video. He's no posted anything on TikTok since May 17th, so he's went missing. Like he's, so this kind had spotted uh, what looks like a giant. We'll show you some videos and then posted another video post updates and it was all like there was some kind of weird like government conspiracy shit from? going on in that so he's, he's canadian and this is in the this is in like the rocky mountains in, in canada and it's a very like it's there's been hunters of like sightings of bigfoot bigfoot and mm-hmm. cunts just saying shit like that but 
I watched a video and it was like one of the townspeople going, oh, that's a giant, he comes and goes. And then you think, <laughs> they're just like mad. Casual. Like that's like their, what I was thinking is, that's this community's mad folklore. So they're obviously going to be like, yeah, that's a giant up there. Uh. But then apparently it's like mainly, <laughs> it's, it's a very <laughs> tourist area because it's like the pure nicest place in Canada. It's where all these mad amazing mountains and that. And it's mainly tourists that report seeing giants and fucking whatever else. But watch these videos now, mate. And so them. the tourists are snitching. Right. Person, dude. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. No. It's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, if you've seen what I've seen right now. <laughs> so that's his day. So that was the first video we posted. See, there's that wee thing he zoomed in. He was saying like he zoomed in like times a hundred. That's how he was just driving to work. And he was like, what the fuck is that wee thing? So he's not a tourist? No, right. no, he lives there. But see his TikToks before this, mm -hmm. it was just all like, he done like hairstyle tutorials and like videos he's dug in that. Like it wasn't a mad conspiracy theorist kid, Aye. do you know what I mean? And then see since this video, he was just pure like uh, obsessed with this hang and finding this thing so we've done another couple of videos like following up i'll show you okay i'm gonna use this as a tripod to try to keep it steady for you guys and it's not even there anymore too that's where it was yesterday i spoke to some locals and it comes and goes apparently i don't know so he's went back the next See, day that's me and trying it to keep it there. super steady Oh, wait, what was this one again? What does that say? Like, as a warning participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt, right? Aye, mate. It's giant spot and it's dangerous. Oh, this is, um, so this is where he's seen what looks like an extraction team. So they're extracting something out of here. There's two helicopters. What the fuck? So see the... So it's, it's, there was two helicopters with like um, big ropes coming after them, like big sling things, and then like a box. One of them had a box underneath it, as if it was carrying something. It looks like something I like. Know how in like King Kong when it's like the the mad military get the mad Chinook and it's lifting up King Kong. It's Aye. in a big box, mate. It actually looks like that. And then the following day, he went back and he seen this. Is that two people like standing in the what top of that? that? No, so... Oh, that's like a big tank king or something? That so that's like what yesterday. looks like a military pop-up site. So it's like, they'll have that to like test shit and that. Like, so it's as if, what, what I'm thinking is... Two seconds. What I'm thinking is that they've they've seen this thing or whatever. Mm. They've went in and took it out in this big box and then they've been like doing some tests or doing whatever else but then this is where it starts getting a bit mad wait there mate two seconds right done right, so this is where it starts getting mental bro the guy's here again yeah this is this is him what's going on rod's balls turn around really yeah, man, just, just turn around, please. Oh, okay. Have a good night, man. So, that was fucked up. There he is, I'm driving past him again. Just turned around. I don't understand why it's closed off, though. It's a fucking public park. Or public road or whatever. So I couldn't in a black suit and I'm a black mobile's just parked across the road. He's like, no, he can't go up this way. And then the same cunts outside his house. I think that's the same vehicle from. Hey! What? Mate, so what he's saying right no matter like, i'm just what i'm showing you is like what this couldn't say right so he's saying that after 
he posted that video and he kept going back. He said like, he, like because there's a lot more videos in between, like him driving by again, him trying to get up, him driving like quite up close to it and that. And um, it was like he was just obsessed with it. It was like every day he had another video. Uh-huh. Like I'll find this. It was like just giant hunting and all uh-huh. that. He was uh-huh. like, but then it was like after all that extraction shit and kind of get up to see that building, whatever that was. This he's saying the CIA started following him, him and that. And then watch this. So he did a, they did this video and this is his like second last update about the the giant. Mm-hmm. Hey guys. I just want to give you an update. I'm not dead. I have not disappeared. Uh, I have just been busy with life. I couldn't get around to posting and updating you guys. So now, now I'm going to give you an official update of what's been going on. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but all of the videos that I post, all the videos that I posted were scripted. They're just fake. They were just strictly for entertainment. I uh, sorry to disappoint you guys. I just need to give you a quick update. So he's saying he he's saying in that he's purely like looking like aye. Uh, aye, so it's like a guy standing like that <laughs> <laughs> with a gun in there. Fucking read it. Aye. <laughs> but obviously I don't know how true that is. Like Because you know what, I mean? like, what I'm thinking is, right? Like that video that he that video is so obviously uncomfortable that aye. it's like It's as if he's he's like creating this the conversation like no, he looks like he's been made to say but that. The, but the other thing is, he would like hadn't they posted for ages before this one? Aye. And cunts like that's when the video started getting big and cunts going right. So where is he and all that and what's happening and who is that motor? And then know how that way like cunts from TikTok pure jump on something and, and start investigating that. Shit and that. So I think it would like if you're gone with the mad conspiracy theory kind of hit it, it would be like. Right, so there's somebody's like, right, you need to put an end to this, go and say this was all hoax, right? And then, this is the last video we ever posted on TikTok. You might not see me post ever again. My videos weren't, they weren't fake. Mate, and that's weird, mate, man. And see where he's fae? That's Alberto, Canada or something. Alberta, eh? Alberta, Canada. There was a, a, a obituary the day after that video with his name. Like, or like a couple of days after that video, like he, as if he was dead and he's just never posted on it since. <laughs> How mental is that, that bro? Is that fucked is up. But I, either it's like, this cunt's pure... That's a very elaborate prank if he's done Aye, that. Aye, because how did he get, like, because what was that hang on top of the hill, makes it's the same hill. Aye. But I, I've seen people saying, this is just standard military practice for blah, 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 and you're like, mate, no, it's no. It's like, a giant, mate. <laughs> there's a fucking giant up there. But I, so do you think, like, we always, no always, but when we do our, our deep frieds, we say, like, how much do you believe this out of 10? Because I'm, I'm at I'm at, wait, 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 what did you say? Night three, two, one, eight. eight. Oh boy. <laughs> but I mate, I'm about eight to six. I'm at about an eight, man. Aye. So um I was just thinking, but what see 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 it was a giant or a yeah, yeah or whatever it was. There's other cunts that have enhanced it a bit and like zoomed right in and stuff. And Aye, it looked, that's it's the, got an outline like that. Because I'm sure, right, so like I've not seen see the very first video you showed me, I've seen that but zoomed in mega and you can clearly see <laughs> know what it the, looks like the mad uh, no green the, giant after sweet corn <laughs> no, no how the mad right, uh, never mind it, it looks like stoning in, a huge version of this stone on top of the hill know how mind when um, rangers like uh, union bears were posting hundreds of pictures and uh, there was one cunts were calling like the penguin bear and he was stoning like that and Sean kept posting it it was Aye. like we got a North Face Jacob and like that that's what it looks like stoning on top of the maybe hill. that's what it was <laughs> but uh, I, I was wondering mate so up in these as I said in the Rockies where it was um, there's plenty of like hundreds of sightings of these things and it's just like common there they're just like ah it just comes and goes it's like always up there what what how how could it be like, how could that thing survive up in the mountains when they, like... Probably doing shites and using it as a tool. As to, I, <laughs> Imagine you went up and you just seen a giant and he was just holding a shite, flicking it, like, hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Mate, this is the thing, though, like, how... Yeah, a little lost, how, buddy. <laughs> see, see, where, see, see where that giant 
was on that mountain how accessible is that not very i don't think mate so like you don't know it's like it's like saying like see like in the on the like the deep sea uh-huh. like the, the deep jamie the deep sea oh i don't like it i'm talking like mile like you're talking miles, when it's pitch black and shit pitch black miles down there mm-hmm. and like there's mad fish that like light up and shit aye like translucent aye, that, aye aye um you don't know what goes down so do you think there. that so do you think like because that mountain's probably like it's obviously huge you know what i mean like mm-hmm. think about how many can claim like ben nevis it's no much mm-hmm. so th- up there i don't know do you think they would there would be but well, i probably should have done a bit of research into that we could go how much in. research can you do but... aye but just where it is geographically not that uh, but, like aye but it's just like i mean if you're a giant you'll find a way aye if we can survive aye surely a giant aye like survive. surely there's mad goats and all that that uh-huh. i can just scan just, aye we, uh, would you think like a goat is to a giant like eating for us like a, a, like a, a cereal bar or something no i think it's a bit more than that i think a it's steak? like a double cheeseburger from mcdonald's mm-hmm. like now the wee cheeseburgers i think it's just like that we'll mm-hmm. just keep them going for like three years you <laughs> 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 need to get something else but uh, do you believe in shit like that do you believe in like bigfoot and all that anyway I mean, it needs to come from somewhere you know what i mean every cunt in the comments the thing is but the thing is about like bigfoot and that bigfoot like How that bigfoot? animal was real at one point with Chewbacca on the, on the, no no Chewbacca that that, that I don't know that, actually mean that as a joke I got mixed up <laughs> ah, I can, Chewbacca <laughs> I can tell by the way your face went after you said that you're like ah, Chewbacca and then like I just seen like, the thought in your head going Trouble. fuck that wasn't even that, that's like nothing to do with what I'm talking oh, about like Han Solo I uh, know that come. but like so that, that was an animal had, are you sure like a yeti was an animal wasn't it I'm pretty sure they caught and then, no, the missing link's like something that's in between a monkey and a human. Aye, a Bigfoot. <laughs> no, Bigfoot's not like, <laughs> That's like... Well, he's not a half monkey Wait, so, it, so it just goes for like... It's a monkey that's walking up right basically. Neanderthal basically. and then turns into a fucking big, huge giant. Because they're huge, mate. They're nothing like humans. They're not a missing link. I it's covered they, in hair. Right, right, na- name a, know, mate, it's missing. Right, <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Name, name an animal that's closer to us than a Bigfoot. A chimpanzee. Right. Okay, so name another one. A bonobo. What? Another type of chimp. Aye, uh, right, monkey, right, chimp, right. monkey. Monkey. Right, <laughs> right. we've had monkey, right? Don't just name other mon- <laughs> other types of fucking chimps. Right, the closest thing to us, other than apes and chimps and monkeys and that. Badger. <laughs> Badger. Mate, this is what I'm saying to you, Jamie boy. Here's us. Here's the monkeys. What is the difference between us and the monkeys? Main difference, really. That we are baldy and... No, no, no. We Thank... walk up, right? Right. Okay. So what does uh, a Chewbacca do? <laughs> but it's like 20 <laughs> feet tall. Aye, but so, I mean, so is like... How can... Mate, think about the... Ev- like Darwin's... Right, Jambo, put up Darwin's evolutionary chart here. It goes... Wee tiny monkey goes up, goes up. It goes Homo erectus. Uh-huh. And then it goes Bigfoot. And then back down to human. It's a missing link. <laughs> That's it. It's missing. And we're trying to look for it. But Andrew Dawson found it and now he's dead. So aye. I'll not be looking for it anytime so, soon. So that is uh, one of the maddest things I've seen on, on TikTok in the past yeah. wee while. And I kept meaning to, because we've been kind of all over the place. Like you've been no well. I've been no well. There was Christmas getting in the way of this. So mm. I know what I mean. So I've had that in the locker for a while, mate. And I just wanted to share it. Aye. It's um, fucking insane. Mate. We'll go into the disses. There's one more person I want to talk about before we go into the disses. Now, we'll, we won't spend a lot of time in this wanker. But I just need to... I want to just get your thoughts on the madness that is taking over this nation. Who The guy that's leading the charge is the guy for Wakey Wines, oh. right? Abdul come closer, Abdul go back. It's sweeten the nation. But this guy's a total sleazeball, brother, right? Now, do you know about Wakey Wines? Very well. Oh, f- very well. <laughs> <laughs> we, we went on a couple of dates, so I wasn't even serious. So, just... so, if you don't know about Wakey Wines, Wakey Wines is a shop in Wakefield in England, and their owner is selling bottles of Prime, which obviously we know kids are going mad for the moment. Tried it the other day. Is it good? Average, bro. Exactly. Average. But this is the thing, mate. It's like all marketing. It's aye, all marketing. Aye, they've, they've... Knee drink is worth. F- a five or a bottle. 
Aye, and then what's this? Wakey wines. Aye, he's no, he's selling the cans for a ton, but Aye, I don't think that's true. No, it is, mate. It so, can't be. Mate, so the reason he's selling them for that is he's the only person in the UK that's got the cans. But I don't think he even is, is he? Because like, I've seen comments. Like, I think he's. He it. said he's the only thing in England or something. He says that in the video. Only guy in Wakefield. <laughs> but, but did you not say that about the AU vodka? No, did you see that? Aye, no. ages ago. The AU vodka that was like fucking salted caramel vodka or something. Like that. And he was like, only show up in the world with this. Mate, and Parkgate cunts, and Springburn's go to. Aye, cunts were just posting videos in their show. Like, aye. Aye. Parkgate's the best well, show in the world, by the way. Mate, he's selling it for a hun- prime, a hundred pound a can, and people are actually going and buying it. See, I think it's. He, like he can't be mate because yes. see the first gun that bought it after he done that hundred pound like that the first gun that bought it was a mad old woman she sat storing with a wee pink can like it must be for for a or dad or something right and like she's uh, sitting holding it and she's also holding a receipt that looks like it says like three digits mm-hmm. it looks like it says a hundred or two hundred or whatever right but I'm like he's made her hold up a fake receipt there it's all I think that's all marketing I think he's just been. Cause he, mate, he's definitely selling bottles just like the bottle at that for twenty five pound a bottle. I know that. I that. So if he's selling the thing that everywhere else has got I've for twenty five pound a bottle, he's obviously gonna. He's a fucking con man. Aye. Well, I seen something today, mate. Did you see the thing on Twitter about his past? His sordid past. Aye. Uh, he, he's uh, still cracking on that. He's still cracking heroin and what did it say? Industry, industry, industrial scale. Aye. Like it was just all sorts, mate. So cunts are saying like. He's putting out these videos going, didn't you pay £100? Tell them you paid £100. And that. So when like the tax man comes, he's like, ah, it all went to that. Like, it's a mad money laundering thing. <laughs> yeah, probably, by the way. But he probably isn't. He? He's probably like, ah, it's a fiver, but tell them you paid a ton. That's because like, he's still selling crack. Not. And I was reading the article about like, him, and it was saying like he bartered his taxi driver and he got arrested for it. And it was the week after he got arrested for assaulting his sister. He he's just mate, smashing he, his sister. Mate, he seems like a pure sl- like even have you seen the video of the boy saying like he's like obviously does his match spiel he's like ah, all right boys what um, what have you come for he's like prime he's like, um where have you come from Doncaster <laughs> where'd you come down from Donny for I prime he's like, <laughs> just what keeps best, going what's my shopping wake Tesco, <laughs> he's yeah. like, mate, but you can tell he's a pure dick because he didn't he even take it as a joke. Pure rage and he like last and then as he's walking away, you can see he's fuming. What's the thing you might know about this, right? I've been wondering what's the thing about the the cold sweeties or something, the cold candy. It's I've called- seen this. It's the, he used to sell bags of sweeties that were called cold candy, right? And that was the brand. And now he's basically made the same thing, but called it WFD candy. And that's his brand. So when cunts, like, there was a video, the same thing that you were talking about there, mm-hmm. cunts called it the wrong thing, where he's saying, where did you come from? They say, cold candy. And he, and he ju- gets fucking He gets aye. human, mate. Aye. He's just I've like a pure that. dirt bag, mate. Aye, aye, but a pure I bad seen, guy, I've mate. seen a video of him, right? And it's like, it's really weird and I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's like, the bailiffs or something, it says the bailiffs letting him get his last five seconds of fame and he's stoning day in the mad spiel, like he's stoning with the prime and all that, but it's, it's like three adults, like, like thir- they're in like their 30s 40s and they're, they're like a what is like two women and a guy and they're all wearing like suits and that, that. and and they're like um he's like what'd you come for and they're like oh, what the real reason he's like no no the prime and he's like no way prime. Hey, is that aye it's weird i'll try no, she says honestly i says on- honestly and it- honestly mate i'll try and find it for you Oft. i think we should do uh why don't we do a wee rallies gaff trip down to england go there go to bin la mega chippy Go to Bin La Mega Chippy. Bin La, bin la Mega Chippy, <laughs> mate. La Mega we'll chippy. go and we'll get some Prime. Then we'll go and get some chips for Bin La Mega Chippy. And then we'll <laughs> come we'll come back off. home and we can video the full thing. Is, I think I think Bin La Mega Chippy shut down. I don't know, it's a shite hole anyway, innit? I love a good can of beer. Glug, glug, glug. Yeah, but I'm getting kind of bored of just like my kind of normal, just plain beers, lagers, pilsners. Yeah. I don't know what I can do about that. I don't know where I can go. Or... I know what you can do, son, boyo. You can get on to Beer 52. Now, Beer 52 are craft beer experts. <sighs> yep, they are. Beer 52 are a monthly beer subscription service. And we've partnered with Beer 52 to give you a very special offer. Beer 52 are going to give you a case of eight free craft beers. Eight free craft beers? Eight. That must be a... That's, that's a lie. That's a straight up lie, bro. I would never lie to you, Jamie. Promise. Promise. So eight free beers they're going to give you. When you sign up with our code, so go www.beer52.com 
forward slash Riley, R-E-I-L-L-Y, and you're going to get a free case of eight beers. Now, these beers, as well, I was talking to uh, Jamie about there, these are only beers that have been mass-produced, sent all over the world, you know, uncared for, all about the money. These are people who care about the beer. Small they, batch breweries. They ca- aye, they care about the quality of every single can. So... Not only that, you're going to get beer snacks with it. You're going to get a magazine about beer as well. Bloody hell, you're going to be beer daft by the end of it, yeah? So, get on it, troops. Eight free beers. Could be a nice wee present for somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, also, if you want to cancel any time your subscription, you can do it. You can pause it as well. Um, they've got beer for everybody. So, there's no reason not to get involved, troops. Go hit the link and get those free beers. Aye, so th- this is this video, right? So, like, look at this, right? Liverpool? Why have you come all the way from Liverpool? Honestly? Yes, no. All right, for time. So you come for... You're the first person... Oh, man, that's mental, isn't it? So do you think they are, um... Do you think they were, like, investigating them or something? They look aye. like mad detectives. Aye, they don't look like they're there for a bolt of prime, anyway. It's like... <laughs> and then I seen that, like, Prime are, like, paying to get a sign put up across the road or something. Aye, so I, I clicked on this, mate, because it was... I thought it was Prime, right? But then when I clicked on her Twitter, it was like Prime Tracker. And it was like a mad app that somebody set up to show you where you can buy Prime in the UK. Like, I've never seen anything. Juice, mate. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's mate. mental. It but makes me feel old, but, but I, do, does it make you feel a bit old? Like how, how much are they? This is fucking mental. No, right? because see if I seen a blue boat with it. I would, like, I'd be buzzing, mate. I'd pay a tenner or something. There is a blue bottle. If I seen it in a shop, but oh. if I was in a shop, I would get a wee bit buzzing off it because mm. I just love the blue flavour of juice, you know what I mean? Nah, fair enough. Just love anything blue. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, but then I clicked on that fucking, their link in their bio, mate, and it took me to the app store and it was like a pound 89 or something for their app. So every country's just making money off time because it's nothing to do with, like, like, they were, like, retweeted by KSI and that. Like, it's just a wee guy mm. that's made that. Do you know what I mean? Aye. But aye, they were, like, saying about putting a billboard across the road for it. Aye, and showing uh, updating updates Maybe about where you can actually see, get see, it. See, because I thought, like, see, when I first seen the videos, I was like, that cunt's quite, like, I don't know, it reminded me of, like, there was, it wasn't, there was an off-sales in Shelston that the cunt's, the cunt's heavy funny. I know who you're talking about. Aye. But then he used to post on Facebook all the time. Aye, no, yeah. that's the cunt for, that's the cunt for Ridry, mate. Aye, he's, he's so funny, mate. He's just like, go to new mad dog on Facebook, you, mate. Aye, yeah, you're not. <laughs> you're fucking jafties. But uh, I pure liked that. I always thought that was heavy funny. And then there was one in Shelston that was funny, I know. And when you go in, they would... To get you to take a picture aye, of your lanky mare, and aye. like I was always, I always feel laugh about like my pal, my pal Liam Rafferty. You've met him. He's like a mad alky, right? And it was like a picture once it just popped up on my Twitter, and it was like during lockdown or something. And it was like Liam popped in after his work for his bottles of uh, Lecky <laughs> Melon. He's just sitting holding two bottles with his full working gear on. No, it's what I was very funny. But um, so I didn't even mind him. And then when I started reading shit about him, being a mad fucking scumbag. You can, mate, you can just tell him, I think, just looking at him. Jinx, oh, the aye. gold tooth knot. <laughs> <I know. laughs> you see the mad pictures? And it was like him next to Joe Pesci in Home Alone. It was like sticky aye. bandits. <laughs> like when they had like the wakey bandits, man. <laughs> but anyway, look. Troops, it's time. Now, we know what time it is. It's time to listen to some disses. Oh, yes. And we've had two episodes before this. We've listened to disses. We've listened to a lot of the big ones, the big hitters. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to leave that one, that uh, ranking in the past. So that's, this ranking is like, that's bona fide. That's, mm-hmm. that's finished with. Mm-hmm. And move on and let some of the other ones. Aye. So if you want to go back and see the ones, they'll just call it this episode we wanted to. <laughs> no, but you can go back and look, look at the other ones if you if you listen to this and you don't hear one of your your all time favourites because we'll probably listen to it. Mate, a few people have like messaged us and all that. Uh, that's my diss and that. Aye, like, aye. Like, like commented on it, like <laughs> proud to see he's listened to the diss. <laughs> <not."> so, <laughs> the diss. So, you know, this is a, this is a bit of a Scottish heritage and we did ask the people on Patreon as always, we said, troops, Give us some disses to listen to, and the people on Patreon did not disappoint. Troops, as always, with the Patreon, if you want to support us, um, you want to support what we're doing and help us grow this show, help us do more stuff, upgrade production, things like that, go over to the Patreon. Uh, you always get, like, pr- uh, like, I was about to say Prime there. That's in my you'll get Prime. <laughs> no, we, we, we promise you will not get any Prime. No, you'll get, like, the, you'll get the first say and shit we do, Aye. and, like, fucking, if we are, like, Asking a question, would you prefer this or this? Mm-hmm. It's always the patrons, and then Aye. 
asking for this. He's like, if you want to get us to react to shit and that, there's a tier for that day. So. Aye. So you can get that www.patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. So go over there, sign up. You'll get an extra episode every single month. You'll get bonus content behind the scenes carrying on and nonsense. But troops, it's time. No. Let's get to the disses. So I'm going to shout out the people that have sent them in. So we have the first diss now. This is from Jay Cameron. And he just says, keeping it short and sweet. So I have no idea what this is. It says, Toy Piss, Rip Glide. Oh, R.I.P. Glider and Maxi. Let's give it a listen. R.I.P. I'm Stephanie D. And I'm a cool cat. <laughs> oh, yes, all right, Rick, as you know. Curry still got a greasy toe. Alex still got raped at a bat. And both are still fucking fat. Dead. Get my fucking bin for the last time. Get me a mommy, please. I say, listen then, you're just a good that stole my bin Both are fat and that's the truth And Ari's got a junkie tooth Or they use her a heavy dead Nine o'clock and they're in their bed Meow! That's a lot of junkie Meow! Oh my god, what is that? Step me, you just raped a cat Stand up, be a fucking bam Look at Bob, that fucking spam It's a scheme, it's got me scream It's break with boys and that's a theme Why people, I don't get me Listen, Xander, face like a prune I'm gonna smash your teeth in soon Burnsy, mate, burger van Seen the crook, you fucking ran Maxie told you to sit in the quiet You fucking done it and don't even deny it Definitely you're gonna die I'm gonna catch you and make you cry Girlfriend, Maxie, boy, piss rat Stay, this is the last time I like to see my bin I'm away in my fucking house Yeah, I'll skip like well appreciate you, mate Right, right, so I've just realised it wasn't a R.I.P. Because he said toy, piss, rip, glider and max. <laughs> aye, because glider and max were getting it quite tight there. Aye, they were, mate. Aye, so that's they're ripping the piss at glider and max. So this toy. was only a minute long, so very short and sweet, as aye. Jay said. Um, still had a, a key change in it. Still had, a I wee... still had time for to change the beat completely. <laughs> uh, so we, we do love a bit of that, to be fair. Um, what are we saying for this? I I really do like the line about raping the cat. I'll be Aye, honest. No, I think creative. that that That's really creative. hit home with me. Aye, it did make I love my cat. It gave I mean. me. A... <laughs> no, would, I like. You I, would never I do was that. sad about that. Oh, I you were sad. Never do that. Mate. But you were sad in a way that shocked you at your core, Aye, which is what we want for the disses. Like, so when we talk about art, mate, it's to evo- uh, it's maybe evocative, not mean. So you're wanting to uh, to bring out something in you, and that obviously did made me feel sad of course but at the same time i've learned something for it no, were you thinking about your cat on that i was mate i very sad very, very upsetting <laughs> but uh <laughs> probably the most chaotic disc we've ever had on this in it uh, i mean well, like, i don't know we've it was just some ra- wild things mate. but just randomly just like <laughs> in the middle of it. i've never heard the suggestion of somebody rate my cat so we do need to give it a bit of respect i'm maybe saying what's the tears again we've got um hell faced Healthy, healthy, quite, quite healthy, healthy, not that healthy, unhealthy, unhealthy. So I'd say probably quite. He- no, I'd say not that healthy. Probably. It's too short. Too short. I did enjoy the 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 wee beat change in that. I would say. Quite respect the ad libs. I would well. say. I would say quite healthy. Aye, I would say know, quite healthy because if we get another minute, maybe maybe. Can maybe could have raped another maybe, animal in it or something? Maybe, I don't that's, know. maybe that's what another house pet might have got raped. Dogs could have got it though. Aye, did dogs get that quite lightly in that one? But I'd say that is um, you kind of give points for something that might have been, mate. Because the reason it's a minute and 11 seconds is because that's all the boys could come up with. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I don't know, but I, I wouldn't argue with you with quite healthy because I enjoyed the, the line about um, raping cats. So no, Aye. I, why don't we just say. I think quite healthy. Aye, we'll stick with that. Then. It's no, it doesn't make the second top one. It's just in the middle. Aye, it's all right. Just, aye. If I'd, longer, it would have been up maybe one. Maybe listen to it again. <laughs> maybe get a listen tonight. I drive him. Hey, mate. So we're on to the next one, troops. Thanks for that, Jay. Uh, the next one is from. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. The buddy. next one is a. Dude, this could be a top dog, mate. <laughs> the next one is from Stephen Crawley. And he says, not 100% if you've already covered this, but if not, needs to be done now. There's a backstory behind why we've no listened to this. Now, this is the diss about Gary McF, Gary <laughs> McF, Gary McF. And the reason we didn't listen to it at, this, at the start was because we were really hoping that Gary McF would come on the show. Well, mate, Gary McF was always a bit of a, like, uh, 
a, a, mystic, a mystical figure around Gringo. Aye. He's thinking about up the venture and Bamalik, you know what I mean? Because that's where he's fair and cunts would go, aye, my big brother thinks about Gary McKay. Aye, it was a hang. Mad hang aye, you know what I mean? Jinky's so, big time does. He might have done, mate. I don't believe him, He might have done, but he did write, yeah. ah, ah, ah. So... <laughs> L- lyrical man who, genius a man who composes that no like, like mass respect to Gary McKeith but didn't he come on he didn't come on so we're going to listen to your diss now sorry Gary but let's go this is the diss right let's start that again let's get it cranked right up Jamie boy start that shit again this is the diss about Gary McKeith Gary McKeith classic classic this? backing track the these Stevenson boys For notoriety, that's top. And it? it's it's a, everybody knows a Gary McKeith this. Mm-hmm. Let's break it down a bit, right? This is the diss about Gary McKeith, Gary McKeith, Gary McKeith, the little one with the bogging breath. <coughs> is is there much worse? No, we've heard a lot of insults on these disses. We've heard a lot of your maws, deep and all that, whatever. A simple slagging is saying your breath spoken is is very insulting. Has anybody ever told you? That your breath smelling? Aye. Have they? Is it? What does it feel like? Feels I've never, never happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that probably has, but like I, I can imagine that being a pure. I like... remember. I remember there was a lassie I didn't like on the school bus. Right. And I, was, I made a lot of enemies on the school bus. I'm not gonna lie, Jamie. Aye. I was a throwing rubbers in that. No, I worst mate. Worst <laughs> wasn't it? It was a horrible time in that school bus, bro. But um, I remember. See when you say a school bus, sorry. Do you mean like? Just like the 57 or whatever? No, no, no. Do you mean like we're going on field trips and that? No, like the bus, like, we go to school and back every day. Aye, but it wasn't like a... It was an official school bus. It wasn't a public bus. It was just for us. I always thought it was just an American thing. Do you have a school bus, bro? Aye. That's insane. Because I didn't live anywhere near my high school. How where did where would where was your high school? My high school was in, like, Whitleburn, Kafkin sort of area. It's not that far, but... Aye, but I mean, we get looked that's, at. We get looked after in South Lanarkshire, bro. That's mad, bro. No, but you've got forced to go hike through. Was the that snow. a big yellow hanging in that? No. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> mate, it was. Uh, mate, we. Our school bus. I got kicked off my school bus. Aye. And the, the guy wouldn't let me own was it. Was it on the way to school? We used to sing like the drop. Mate, the the we had about five. Aye, no, he just wouldn't let me own it back for school. And like my mum and dad had to go up to the school and be complaining that. Mate, I think it's insane you've got a school bus. We mate, used to. I, just blow, I don't think I can do the rest of the podcast. Mate, we used to. Mate, we used to get the bus for uh, drum saga, like drop, like drum it, and we used to like we be all up the back like shouting shit and like we drive by the people got a stone on like jump out the fire exit and fight with them and all that it was wild mate, bro this is insane aye mate we got I got banned to the school bus because we kept calling the driver a pedo like relentlessly <laughs> mate bro, just like... and he was like that you'll not get on this bus aye. so I get kicked did he have that power or not aye but, aye but sorry anyway I last year like, didn't like on the school bus I got on it one morning and like, I was talking, I was, I was, me, everybody's howling, you know, on the floor laughing, <laughs> you know. Uh, and she was like, I said, I don't know what she said exactly, but she was You're like, not even that funny? No, uh, like. no, uh, oh no, she said, my, but your breast stinking or something. Oh. And honestly, mate, I was like, what? I'd never been told that in my life. Aye. And I don't even think my, 
I'm, it, look, it could have been. I'm sure everybody said a bit of a stinking breath at a time. Aye, of course. But, it felt terrible. Ah, so Gary McKeff, I can only imagine what Did he you, was feeling. Was listening. that at the start of the day or so you had a full day walking about like, I made the F-O. Oh, I, I was pure, <gasps> like, inhaling <laughs> as I was talking to <laughs> him. <laughs> you got <laughs> <You're good moths. laughs> you know? I can't believe you had a school bus, mate. That's the best thing I've ever was like, um, I used to have to pay a pound to get to school. I used to have to get on the 57A. No, they used to send a bus to, like, so it would like stop at, like, see, like, Aye. So it would go, like, it would, like, stop at, like, the uh, Hogside Primary, then it would go run and pick up the people like near Tesco, and then it would go up and pick up somebody else, and then it would go to school. Aye, aye. And did you like so you're saying that 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 school bus sounds like a very like uh, Glaswegian kind of west of Scotland school bus? It sounds like a bit chaotic. It was that. it was the craziest. So mate. did you never have that mad now the mad cliche in a film like you just grab a bit of toast because you're like gonna miss the bus and you need to run to, for the bus and all that? That's what I think about as a school bus. I, it was a bit like that. I miss the bus. Aye, it was a bit like that. That's mad, man. And, like, it would come at, like, the same time every day and you'd be, like, running for it and that. Aye, that's very American. Bro. American. Very, very posh, mate. No, even posh. No, it's no posh at all. It's just what should happen. It was crazy. I, had, mate, I, I wish no, I had more stories that I, I can't think, remember. I was thinking about that the other day. I was, like, I used to walk to school for, I was, like, in, pri- in primary and that, I would just walk to school. Mm-hmm. I wasn't far away from my school, to be fair, mm-hmm. but seeing, like, P, like, three... I would just walk to Mate, school. My high school, it would have taken me well out of nowhere to walk. No, to. I don't mean that. I'm just saying, like, how mad is that? that aye. Like, back then, it was just like, I just let the way and walk. Aye. Know what I mean? But, I mean, um, aye, so aye, I wish I had a school bus. Mate, that yeah. sounds sounds excellent. It, some and were you, like, uh, king of the hill on the school bus? Were you, like, the. Nah, like, but I was, you, Did you have control of the room and that? No, really. Um, no, but I was part of a, a group of thugs, I would say, oh, at right, the back aye. of the bus who really, it was. We used to, like, mind I say, them. Um, Mind I tell, told the story about those this boy called Scott who shagged this lassie and like she said Aye. to him during it, um, is it in yet or something? <laughs> like we would sing pure audio. Is it in? Is it in? Is it in? <laughs> Scott for... Mate, and we'd all like, we would like get mad new tunes and all that. Or, like, <laughs> yeah, like new, new like, uh, assemble, assemblies Aye. and shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, I've got a bell come I've, I've got, got a good assortment by the way. Sunday, Sunday night, night, pure lyrics. Right, so it goes with Bo- Beethoven 6, right? <laughs> <laughs> but we're calling his bird a tart, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I, Gary McKeff, this, um, the little one with the bog and breath, we've got a lot of sexual noises. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, it, lyrically, is it one of the best ones? No. 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 But I think, I think it, I would put it the one below the tap. Well, do you know what I really like, by the way, I wanted to mention? They harmonised the, the mum, the mother figure <laughs> in the story. They harmonised her sexual noises. It, uh, was, uh, uh, like it got very primal. Like that. I, I know, I enjoyed it, mate. What, so I, I'll go with that as well. So we're going with healthy. I would say healthy, aye. Okay, thanks for that, Stephen. Next one, we've got Aaron Wilson. Now, this is a SoundCloud number, so we know it's got to aye, get a bit good. naughty. And this is called the Dinky Diss. So let's go for this, man. Let's see what's happening. Fuck Dinky. What's Dinky? Don't know. Dinky Donson? <laughs> the best way get my it, fucking yobs. We dinky down some hot Fuck your dinky. You were just saying that? <laughs> Only fucking Maya. Oh, the Maya. Rock in the Shire. Dinky this. Ryan, I'm Ali, you're your fat, you've got a date with a cricket bat Scott, young, your eyes are bent, you're heavy, drunk, you live in a tent Nicky, I'm on, check your face, you'll get punched about this place Couple of pounds, you're fucking Mikey Bath in your kitchen sink MC Fento, one, two, three, shagging all the B.I.B. You're in a bite, you're heavy, gay, or oh, you shall not me say My boys are number one, they think they came and then they ran Raymond Moore, that man's night, get the fuck your mother through Think he came in two by two, get smashed and battered up a who the My yours are number one, shut it, Ryan, you're full of kill My old, this is heavy, yeah, pick, Scott, young, you slap the dish <laughs> the first one is a fucking dish. Oh, mate, this one's fucking brilliant. <laughs> this is so good. I love the tune, I love the about this. a bunch of jerseys. Yes. YMY number fucking one. We're not even halfway through it, mate. Mate, that guy's a good MC, by the Aye. way. He's got talent. Here we go. James, guys, we have no being harsh, you're about to get done. Up the arse, shop all bars, you look like a rat. Ryan, I'm Ali, you're still fat, fat, bastard, fat, cunt. You'll get hit, I'm fucking done. Hang, you can jump, cause you're fucking fat. You look get done, and that's a fact. Hmm, took a wee bit of mm. a slope there. It's just a bit, he's went for. fucking yobs. That was easy shots there, he's went for. Cheap pops. That's like a uh, skeptic syndrome for the two or something. <laughs> 
Mayer boys we run this school I read you you think you're cool Checking it you're there to go That's the you bogging the you Ryan O'Malley You're Uncle Spanny You're the dinky's biggest fanny Give me a gown shave your tash Go give me have a wash Got young you've got scrutin ice MC Fenno at the pie Steven O'Neill who are you? Junior Adamski you're a Duke Cabin mate you're lanky prick James Gillespie suck your dick Scott Young you get done after yours Nicky Hamilton you're all scared Shaw Paul Barnes you get done after Nick Stuart Kale's a cheese dick What? A cheese dick? Right, one of Maya, Steve T. Maybe, one of your. Got a fucking young Maya, you dick. Yeah, I be young Maya, you fucking dicky. Bum, fuck your buggy. Yeah, look, come on, Maya, you up. Right, they're just passing yeah, the mic about now. Uh, it's fucking young Maya, no, Jordan, Melvin, Cammy, Michael, Bucky, Nick, Dave. Shout out to fucking Robbie. Fucking uh, Robbie. Robbie. Johnny. We must have more guys in this A. I'm not Robbie. <laughs> Another guy that ends with an A. <laughs> Robbie, Tony, Johnny, Jamie, <laughs> Corny. <laughs> right, I mean, the dinky dish, mate. The dinky dish, mate. That started so promising, man. Oh, that, like, could, that could have been the t- in the aye. top. See if we had that. Obviously, on SoundCloud, you can see the first, like, you can see where the aye. sound waves went. See that first chunk, mate? The see salt? if that was throughout. The first, the third, the, Aye, first, the first third of the song. If that was that throughout, that would have been better than fucking. Any, that would have been better than yeah, yeah. Oh, that would have been. It would have been in that top tier. Aye. I think we did take getting your wee bra in it. Did take a bit of a dip. Oh, do you think so? I think no. Well, I don't know. It shows a bit of community. It is community. I will give that. They did a bit lose a bit of street cred when like that wee guy came in. But at the same time, <laughs> um, t- just I think it was very clear. I heard everything. Aye. It was very loud. As, it was a, ve- as a front man, it was, it was... Oh, he was on fire, Freddie. Right M- it was Freddie Mercury-esque. <laughs> it, was, it definitely was. Aye. Good MC. Per- like brilliant first third. Dropped half in the middle. The ending was a bit shite. The ending was just n- people saying names. Uh, Jordan, Robbie, Evany. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I, I'm going to say with that one, I'll just say it's... Bang in the middle, quite healthy. No, I'd say healthy. Healthy? Aye, aye sorry, aye. healthy. So, so healthiest, and then it's healthy? Aye. Aye, aye, we'll go with that. I would then. say healthy. One, one, one done. Right, thanks for that. Who was it that sent that in? Uh, that was... Uh, Dinky Donson. <laughs> you know, that was... Uh, <laughs> that was Dinky himself. <laughs> that was Aaron Wilson. Thanks for that. That Cheers, is a classic. Aaron, bro. So next one is from Craig Henderson. Now, this is a legend in the Scottish scene. DJ Bad Boy. Bad Boy's out tonight. Is this a diss? I don't know. Can't remember this. Are we accepting it? DJ fucking Bad Boy here, lads. Everybody better fucking say hello. Is this a Bad Boy's last fucking Oh, my God. Get to fuck, I'm only joking, see your push your photo bone Sorry Chaz, I have to say that bad boy's fucking here to stay I can't really leave these all, I foot a ring bone It'll be like having a scream, I foot the fucking cone I foot these all, better get used to your local bad boy Number one DJ and five, I bet you're bad boy So here's another catchy chorus, money coming strong So if he's can keep up, then fucking sing along I'm a bad boy can't you see, he's a bottle of buck and I'm out to my tree I'm a net so fuck, there's nothing to hide I've got my Burberry hat tilted to the side I've got my Nike Air Max hanging off my feet I like to scuff my heels when I'm walking down the street Got my trap suit on, I'm in pure white Cause the bad boy is going out tonight Wait, I'm pausing it now Right Because I've got an issue with this I'm not, I'm not it, feeling it It isn't a diss It's not a diss, I'm not hearing any like slaggins, this is all about the slaggins, mate. Where's the raping of the cats? Aye, where is the raping of the cats? Where's the fuck yeah, Robbie? No, that. I, I fuck mean. Robbie, but I do like Donnie. a bad AG bad boy. It's uh, good, but I like that we got a bit of background. He's for five. And oh, that. I don't even know that. <laughs> uh, we should have known that. Um, but I, and he's I got a bottle of buck and he's his tree. I'm look, no, DJ I, Bad Boy, absolute legend of the scene. We need to respect it. We respect the sending in. We'll but wait. we can't even rank it. We'll we just like have this. it at the side as an honourable mention. Honourable mention there. We'll do that. Thanks for a you. lot for sending it in. Craig Kenderson, thanks for that, mate. But it was. It's not really a diss. It's no. We want a bit of vitriol. I mean, let's go. Hold. Does he get the folks No, no, it's all about himself. Right, so wait it's all about himself. Bad boy's going through a phrase. My oh, songs. No, it's a pure heart to heart, man. They're get that. busting through the race. Imagine this is like a slam poet. <laughs> know what I mean? I, Bad boy's going through a phase. Face, face, face. <laughs> right, okay. Let's go. 
got. <laughs> So I think. Wait, did we not just no, have? No, Aye, so, so this is this is Dinky. The, 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 this is so. Let's just read the name. It. Sorry, we're getting excited here. Uh, this is for Drew Patrick, and this I think this is the Dinkies. So earlier on, we had the Meyer boys dissing Dinky. D- dissing the Dinky. Now we have the Meyer this. We can only presume. Fidinky. It's it's for Dinky himself. I, I I'd love to hear. I'd is Dinky a guy? Or is this an area? Dinky must be a. Dinky sounds like a wildlife creature. <laughs> I don't Dinky know. Sounds like a Let's get it on the mire dish. Is it just Peter Dinklage? Dinklage. Fucking <laughs> 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 Good start. This is what we want. D I N K Y. Fucking Maya. Here, can somebody let us know where this is where in the comments? Maya? Let us know where Maya and Dinky are. Don't make me smell a shit, you Maya. Boys are getting tight. Shop up, you get stabbed for. You are hard to lock the door. Closest brothers, you get closer under cover. Bobby Green, I'm you, that Dinker. I'm just as sad as a stinker. It's a nature, who are you? Hope you're digging up with you. Drive me with your baby, bring your bottle, drop it by your head. Push it down, back to you, so hold on tight. Make me through. What's your thoughts on the the mad f- fake Northern English accent? <laughs> Mate, it reminds me. What's the video? It's for yes, I. No, what's the mad um, the yes, wee guy? No, the wee guy in the park. I was sitting in my garden. I had no fucking clue. See, I quite like it when it's done right. It wasn't there. The With a snoo crack you. <laughs> it's just the full thing's the same going, see if you can fucking do better than this. <laughs> and I'm just going, D-I-N-K-Y. Sees, like, see how buzzing he was after that there. Like, Aye. you can imagine him sitting like, like about to record this. Like, see if he's can do a better one than this. <laughs> <laughs> don't be this. I uh, don't think that was anywhere near the dinky this. No, I don't know. I, I quite enjoyed bits of it, was, it, but it was like... Let's, I think right in the middle, I quite... Maybe even no, maybe that. even not even that healthy. I think I think the lyrics really let you down there, boys. It, it, like, you had the energy. No, it let them down, mate. Sound quality. There was aye. bits. It was like, I it was like right in the mic aye, and then away from it and that. So, boys, the mild this, um, we're going to put it in. I think no, even that healthy. No, even to be honest, because lyrics. There was no clever wordplay. The the tune. There was nearly like, even just disgusting wordplay either. Like, we respect the sort of effort you put in in terms of. <laughs> Just calling 
out the dinky you know, constantly. You no, know, I quite liked and all like um, them saying like in both songs they say we run the school. Aye, so, so they must both go to the same school Aye. and it's like a mad war. Mm-hmm. But I don't know who to believe. I don't know who does run the school. I'm gonna yeah, go I with Dinky. Know. I think Dinky. They might not have the musical talent, but I think they've got the fucking. Aye, they, they've uh, got the manpower. Aye. <laughs> Wee bit of context for you here, right? Right. So the Meyer is Bells Meyer in Dumbarton. Right. Dumbarton. Dinky is also in Dumbarton. Aye. I don't know where Do, they go to the same school. Aye, at the same that school, must right? be Bells Meyer as well. Just another mate. Right. That must just be two schemes in Dumbarton. Mate, what, eh? Something else mad come up. See when I googled Dinky Dumbarton, an article come up for the Helensborough Advisor. Right. Oh. It seems like a legit paper, and it says the KYB and shock young team Hall of Fame result. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> The ballot for induction into the Young Team Hall of Fame has resulted in an unprecedented tie that sees the KYB in a deadlock with arch rivals, the Dinky from <laughs> Jesus Christ! The Young Team like Hall of Fame article, I know, so I don't right? Know. So I think, look, Hall of Famers. This is the first Hall of Fame entry. Aye, aye. We need to maybe give them a bit of respect. Well, I just got to quite healthy then. Aye. Aye, we'll do that then. Aye. Right, because I, I do respect. I'm getting mentioned in the paper. Aye, the famous thing. We've never had that before. So we've got another one here from just David. Right, uh, cheers, he, David. Thanks, David. And this is... Do you want to read it out, Jamie? So this is DK and Hendo, brackets, Gemma Moore, this 09, ripped ya dirty midden for the TYT. This is promising, this by is the way. This is fucking... It's four and minutes it's long, so... One we'll, of the we'll, ones with, like, know that many views and that, you know, I love them. This could be dirty. Is this them? <laughs> I'm on have the best fucking night of my life. Wasn't he the fucking diss, mate? Bit of respect. That's it, that's not both, bro. to another one with an accent like that I Aye. think it was like Dunfermline or so. I don't know Edinburgh is that like pure centre of Edinburgh I don't know what's going on this Prince Street or something <laughs> <laughs> Prince, he lives in Prince Street <laughs> but, one, um, right okay let's break it down so this in a bird I respect that I respect that, mate. You respect this in the bud? Ah, equal, oh, equal like rights, mate. Equal, okay. Like, come on, like, if, if she has been as much a, a dirty midden as he's saying, then she well, deserves I, to get this true, bro, you know what I mean? And I'm sure she, she says she's a good Catholic lassie. She goes to the chapel to, to wash, wash away the sin. So. Aye, so really, it cancels itself out. Aye. She, she might have been a dirty midden in the mm-hmm. past, but she goes to church with her mother to rid herself of the sin. Every, mate, that's the best thing about Catholicism. Every Sunday, it doesn't matter what you've done the rest of the week. You can go around bartering people and 
fucking shagging cunts cats and that and then on a Sunday you just go and you fucking do all that mm-hmm. and then it's like it's all good easy peasy cheat Feels code big, man. Aye. The, cheat, cheat the cheat code. code religion that's what they call but it so I, I don't think it was that good mate nah I, I think I think no that healthy I'm not happy with it at all mate I'd even, I want listen do you know what I didn't we, really want, it? we want vulgar disgusting we want to be in shock we at want, what we you're want, saying we want to no know how to react I we want to go we shouldn't laugh at that mm-hmm this is just about some lassie getting a blowjob. I know. And, and we've had plenty of them. I know. Gobble rashes. They're, they're had running wild. Of times. <laughs> but uh, I, I wasn't that. I wasn't that impressed with it. Um, and also, I didn't think the the, the tune went with it. That yeah, I'm feeling alright. <sighs> and then he was just like talking quietly under it. Now it was a bit. It's a bit tame. Mm-hmm. But the next one we're going to listen to is not tame. Now we've went to listen to this this a few times and thought. We can't listen to this. Mm-hmm. So there might be some bleeps you hear in this for some words that really can't be said. So this this is I mean I've I've listened to about thirty seconds yet. Mm-hmm. And it is fucking wild. So we've saved the best till last trips. Let's get into it. We've no got much time left. Let's give it a a, a diss. By the way, Josh Brannigan sent this in as well on the uh, Patreon, but we're gonna listen anyway. This is the Abrin, Abrin, Abrin held this, 2010. I do no one thing, no. Bitches, they come, they go. Bitches, they come, they go. I got two boys, one dog, he's dying. He's a dog. I'm two walker, you're a dog. He's a dog, it's cost me a digger. It is your dog, it is your dog. The in your dog, it's cost me a walk. Don't give a fuck what Jamie says. John, your partner's as old as your clays. We do your shit, you'll get the game. Just get a bucket every night. you're that rude at the start, you can afford to have a wee into that. You need to bring them back down. Let them process the first. Tiny pound, D.A. Hogan's, drinking soup on burning spoons. Brew McDonald's, do a bit ten, try to get fresh in MSN. Keep dealing in jail, we'll show you how, at the end of the day, your pup's a cow. Keep dealing in jail, you are on a roll, your pup you broke in a Fallon's mall. Move us, rang in, you'll retire. Carbon boys on fucking fire. Smells like cardo sock. Hey, hey, my boys, have you heard? Jamie Bagley, you get flared. Where's Jake Small? Where's your da? I don't know. Near the ah. Stand your feet, make some noise. Shouting out to the Cabrian boys. The hey, hey, boys are taking it tight. The Cabrian boys are doing it right. Do, doing, doing it right. Yeah. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Cabrian boys on fucking top. Don't forget that Mark McGee, who he's got in more fanny. Hey, you your sister is nice, stingy, drop some knuckles for a gingy. Basically, another spot for the boys to pound. We'll take his all on, bigger small. She's got a bean like a basketball. Feeling the Jay, we're showing you how exactly know your mother's account. Dane, line ups in my scheme, big give on the blowjob queen. I'm a Happy <laughs> 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 <la
in a wash machine. I said, fuck that tumble dryer, we just part of fucking dryer. Why did you crack me, show me, go get up your ankles into your shoes? Paul Pearson, you are by, stick your dick in another guy. What are dicks going in our season? You are by. No even gay. Very, too very progressive for the stone pump birds, mate, but. Is that all done? Do you know how to do it then? In fact, you want to do an RV bit? Aye, mate. Why not? Yeah, I'd love Aye, mate, why not? He was crying. Do, 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 chin. Is that me? That's probably not what we're looking No, but it's we get it all. 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 We get